I am live as well. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the Three at Moon livestream. Welcome to Rafay's channel as well. How's it going? Hello. It's Thursday. Um, hope everyone's having a good Thursday so far. I'm here with uh, Rafe V. Marie, and we're doing our regular randomized uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke co-op. <laughs> it's a, a mouthful. Randomized co-op Nuzlocke Soul Link Emerald. Um, basically, we're uh, taking we've taken Pokemon 11. Emerald. Yeah, eleven. Yeah, part eleven. <laughs> we've taken Pokemon Emerald, and we've kind of like just mixed everything up. Um, if you don't know randomizers, basically we've just like shuffled all the TM moves, all the Pokemon. Um, all the moves with you know with a specific logic as well um, and it's just like a completely different experience than playing Pokemon normally like you don't normally um, know with a randomizer what type uh, the gym is gonna be for example but we're doing a co-op and mm -hmm. we're doing the Nuzlocke rules where if our Pokemon faint um, they're considered dead and we're also by, by co-oping the Nuzlocke we're, we're doing the soul link um, which essentially means like my Route 1 encounter is linked with Rathay's Route 1 encounter, and if something happens to one of them, then the other, the, the linked partner basically has to suffer the same fate. We are pretty far Speaking of that, our... Yeah, and uh, our link, our Route 1 encounter, technically, mm -hmm. or at least the first one we caught, is actually still with us. That's our Magneton pairing. That's true. That is our... Um, That's our Epical longest. Mana number 42. Our oldest member, so to speak. Yeah, we just lost our second oldest. I think we lost uh, Missy Elliott and uh, Skaritz, which was uh, a uh, Chime Co. And Pinsir. And a Pinsir, which that was probably the saddest loss, I have to say. Mm -hmm. At least personally, as a person who loves uh, bug Pokemon. But, but do we want to do a, uh, a team rundown? Because we're at the point where we only have five Pokemon now. We don't even have any backups. Yeah, totally. Um, I'm just... Hoping Elliot's I gonna catch up. There we Elliot, go. Okay. I think I got that thing I sent you. Hello, everyone. That I sent you sent me. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Okay, now now you can see my screen. Sweet. So if I recall, everybody, um, me and Moon both have Cedras. Mine's uh, named Nugget. Yeah, and my think... Cedra is named Geppetto. Okay. It's usually a rapper's name because yeah. Henny came in with like five or six redeems that were all rappers. Oh, and we have hip hop artists. And it's it's what's funny is that um, so whenever we catch a Pokemon, which we can only catch the first Pokemon in each route, um, we both yeah. have name redeems. So pretty much our chat is named the majority of our, both our Pokemon. But Henny Blank has been mm -hmm. continuing the the theme of rappers um, from our earlier like Pokemon Leaf Green run. And we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more names in the queue on our end, um, and a bunch more rappers to come. So <laughs> many more rappers to come. But uh, my siege was level thirty-two. Is yours roughly the same? Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Cool. And we found it in the abandoned ship. So if you wanna, you know, if you add lore <laughs> to your Nuzlocke runs, yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah, they're both in the abandoned ship in the one place that you can actually get a Pokemon there in that tiny little pool. Plus, um, uh, great moves. Bubble Beam, Hyper Voice, Hydro Cannon. <laughs> Nugget is my work computer's host name, says Gentle Goblin. Nice. <laughs> uh, I don't know what order we got in here. We got my sweater, which is connected to Mace, yep. which is the Typhlosion. Yep. And uh, uh, mine is an Ampharos. An Ampharos. That's a good. That's a good pairing. We still got. Uh, we've had this Pokemon on the team for a while. Um, yeah, I think that's our third longest pairing at this point. Yeah. We also have. Um, uh, and then we, we both have Slowbros. Mine is mm -hmm. Soy Sauce. Gold Digger. Soy Sauce is Slowbro. Soy sauce. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> and Gold Digger and Slowbro doesn't have amazing moves. We taught it Surf. Uh, it just learned Luster Purge at 38 or something. I, I think I got the... Uh, it, what, what, what ended up happening, chat, was funny. So, uh, Moon got the better end of the deal on levels. Yeah, it was level 32. I got the better end of the deal on moves. 
Yeah. Because you caught it at what, 32 you said? Yeah, 32. Or so. I caught mine at like 14 mm -hmm. or something like that. It was very low because it was on the cusp of the two areas. So I think that the programming bled over. So mm -hmm. I ended up getting a level 14 uh, slow bro. But I ended up getting a really good move set. But apparently the AI on Moonside decided that all the psychic moves were not worth it. Yeah, like you had psychic um, inside I have missed me. Ball. Missed ball, yeah. Yeah. And I had Luster Purge, Psychic. I had Skill Swap. Did, did you have like Clamp or something? And clamp, yeah. So it was like through the logic, yeah. it was like yeah, like that. Those those are the moves you learn later on, and then it replaced them. It was like much better, much better. You need Sharp. Much better, Clamp, um, Clamp to win. And uh, I ended up just teaching uh, it Surf and uh, Water Gun. It learned and Luster Purge. So it it does end up still learning. Um, some psychic moves mm -hmm. later on, which is nice. I have a mistake called Pigman Carl. Uh, I think, oh, uh, was that you have a much better Pokemon that's oh. attached to Pigman Carl, oh, right? Mistake is uh, Spoink. <laughs> yes, yes, it's it's Pigman Carl. I got I got Lil Pump the, the, the mistake. Lil Pump the Do Duo, and and it is. Hey, that's I think that's better. <laughs> that's much better because we have Air Cutter, Aerial Ace, Screech, and Arrow Blast, so we've got a really good. Look at look at this move set. Look at this. I can't even use this Pokemon. <laughs> I want to say... Uh, he has the ability to recycle. He's very conscientious, but just not very aggressive. That's funny. I have experience share on, on Doduo. I have it on Pikman Carl, because he's going to need it. So this is it. Like, well, This is our, and then of course, our full team. Yeah. It's five. <laughs> uh, and I think we're moving towards Route... It's the right thing, and one, uh, 120. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're going to go towards that seventh badge, but I feel like there's a lot of uh, nonsense before that. Yeah, there'll definitely be some trainers, a bunch of trainers, and uh, I think a couple new areas we can catch some Pokemon, which is nice. Uh, yes. You, you said that we have a, game, um, a name in the queue. Uh, I've got Bezos next for the next Pokemon that i got to catch, and yes. then yours is uh, Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey and Bezos. Also, thank you to everyone that's joining. I'm just going to do a quick shout out to Rathay's channel as well, if you don't follow Rathay. I'm going to shout out Three at Moon. It's going to be awesome. Go over there and follow me because I am going to basically tell you to do this every 30 minutes because you should. Because you should. Yeah, and we're doing more of these Nuz uh, Nuzlocke like co-ops and stuff. I'm having a lot of fun with them. Um, it's a cool way oh, to, yeah. to dive into, and even if you can't do a co-op, if you uh, just want to try the randomizer challenge or try a Nuzlocke challenge, it's a really cool way to dive into like these games again, if it's something that you, you feel like you want to do. Oh yeah, it's it's a it's a great time. I, did, I didn't know how fun it would be because uh, I was really expecting us to go through a lot more seeds than this. Like we're on our third. Mm -hmm. This is uh, like the two for both of us, yeah. Like yeah, six, the, the six, two six. that we failed were because we got locked. Mm -hmm. If I recall, by steel Pokemon or something. Mm -hmm. It was a situation, it was like an, an ability happened. Like a, a wild Pokemon had an ability that trapped us into a battle uh, where mm -hmm. we got killed pretty much right away. And that happens a lot. I feel like most of the time when you lose a Pokemon, it's because of something stupid like that. It, oh yeah, there's been some stupid losses. We lost our Flareon because of a, uh, uh, what was it, a Destiny Bond? Destiny Bond, yeah, totally. Um, I've had my Beedrill <sighs> in one wild. of my other runs, like, blaze kicked by a jump left. I've had many, many crazy things happen. And if, uh, yeah, if you're not following Rathay, go, uh, go follow that channel, because there's also a bunch of, like, solo Nuzlocks as well going on there. Yes, solo Nuzlocks, Ooh, bug pinning Goblin. streams. Thank you so much for the follow. I'll also, uh, thank you to, we got a ton of followers. We got uh, 404 underscore preview. Welcome to nice. the stream. Uh, Julia B98 and Enchanted Locket. Thank you so much for the followers. I really appreciate the support. We're 20 followers away from 500, so I'm, I'm going to be celebrating with Dang. a playthrough of Wario Land 3, but randomized. And I'm really excited to, to dive into that. Um, we just played it recently. It's got a lot of content in it, so it's got a lot of content that's going to be shuffled. Oh yeah, there's uh, ten seeds in the uh, 
the drive waiting. Yeah, I'm excited. And I'm excited to see, like, just exactly what... It's always fun to explore a new randomizer, because you never know... Like, every single one has a different logic, right? So you never know, like, what it's going to actually end up doing. Oh, yeah, exactly. And uh, it looks like... Uh, I've never played the game, but looking at the uh, randomizer, um, it looks like it's going to shuffle some fun stuff. Yeah. Totally. Um, Lil Pump is actually <laughs> level 24. It's not too bad. I mean, it looks like our the area, like, because uh, I'm not trying to grind. I'm trying to grab this item that I missed. Mm. Um, but, I mean, it's, what, 24 to 28 is about the area we're in? Okay. I'm going to heal. I can't believe I was in the Pokemon Center and didn't heal. Um, so, yeah, we're in Fortree City. That's where we were, and we, oh, we used the, the that's weird why. scope that Steven gave us in the last part um, to reveal the Kecleons. All the Kecleons that are Which are not Ke Kecleons. Yeah, every <laughs> single one was different, too. Oh, no. Oh, it's just a Yanma. Just a Yanma. Are you a fan of that Pokemon? As, as a fan of I, that Pokemon? I, 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 I love bug Pokemon, but for some reason... I think Yanmo would be cooler if they didn't add the eye spots and like separated the eyes a little bit more. Mm. Like, you know, soulless, not. You should do a stream. You should totally do an art stream where like you take all the bug Pokemon and just, just redesign them. Like slightly. <laughs> just be like, okay. Just here's so the thing about Pinsir. Here. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing about Fortress. Yeah. He needs legs. <laughs> yeah, he needs legs. They all have legs. I. It doesn't matter if you're living inside of a rock. You need legs. Actually, how cool would a um, fortress be if it was the head was just the fortress as we know it, and then it had like eight or nine like rocks that looked just like the head, like that followed it, and oh, it was like geez. a centipede, like a rock bug centipede. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. It'd have a horrifying face. Yeah, but it'd be kind of cool. Like we could, you could add stuff to it. That, that, I don't oh, know. Yeah. I, I like the idea of that as a stream theme. Oh, that that would be a lot of fun because uh, there are, there are definitely some changes, and then I would get to uh, Scyther and I'd be like, "This one's fine." Yeah, <laughs> just um, move on. This one's, just, <laughs> this one's perfect, and then move on to the next one. And then I'd take a uh, uh, scissor and I would just I would just uh, Photoshop uh, a Scyther on top of it and be like, "Okay, this one's fixed," that one's and then move better. to the next one. <laughs> Or no, it's like you actually spend a bunch of time just redrawing Scizor, but at the very end it just yeah. looks like Scizor. That's all it is. Hey guys, this looks so much better. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the green. I don't know if it's because like, I don't know, blades are better than crab claws. That's fine. I don't know. It's fine. Ooh, wild Ariados. I, I seem to remember Ariados had a crazy. Oh shit! It's got, it's got a f uh, fire blast or something. Watch out. Um, I, I think that, that was one of the scary things you reminded me. You were like, dude, there's an area dose in here. Yeah, there's a couple. And it's dangerous. Close calls. It's almost like the Dragonite. Where we fought a fisherman who had like a level level 10 Dragonite or level 8 Dragonite, and it had Dragon Rage. Oh, yeah. So, that was frightening. That's one of the, the most overpowered moves if you're low level. Ooh, oh, yeah. It, it, like, okay. if you don't have more than 40 HP, it's over. Well, we actually have a ton of stones. Holy shit. We've got... Yeah, uh, I know. No Pokemon to use them on. Water stone, moonstone. We don't have any Pokemon in backup in the PC at the moment, do we? Uh, nope. Yeah, that's good. Damn, damn, damn. That's okay. And we'll pretty much just go until, like, as far as we can make it. And then, uh, I don't know about you, but I, I'm totally down to... To, uh, attempt the Pokemon suite. Nuzlocke oh, Pokemon yeah, without suite. a... Oh, without a doubt. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun. It's just a, a weird, if you don't know it, it's just a weird uh, ROM hack of um, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, and that changes, basically adds all new types that are based on flavors and changes all the Pokemon into edible, like, sweets and desserts. It's kind of cool. Oh, it's going to be a fun time, everybody. Okay, it's so going to be cute and fun. I'm just in the area now uh, where there's a bunch of double battles and stuff, um, where it's raining, like, just past where we met Steven. Yeah, I'm fighting an, a ninja boy right now. Okay, cool. I think we're in the same boat. But I took on the double battle as a double battle. Yeah, is your ninja, does your ninja boy have a cast form? 
Uh, no, an Electabuzz, so okay. probably a Castiform and an Electabuzz. Yeah, that's what I'm doing with right now. Ooh, I never get to see these guns oh. on the podcast. Are you talking about my arms? What, what's that, Moon? That's cool. Well, you, I just, like, you don't get to see Castform transform that much in randomizers, and it just so happens that the environment is that it's raining outside oh, on the screen. Right. So it turned into uh, the water type, which it's cool. They have cool designs. I always thought Castform was a cool idea, but there just isn't yeah. enough... Like, it not, wasn't executed right. I don't, I don't use, right. like, weather moves that often on my team, typically. Mm -hmm. And there also just wasn't enough moments throughout the game where you can see them all. But cool design, though. Yeah, like, and, and also, like, especially on a randomizer, uh, setup is usually bad, it feels like, if you have to do any setup. Because, like, every turn seems to count. Oh, we got to be smart about this. I'm going to send out... I mean, he can do it that way, too, if he wants. He can volt tackle me all he wants. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> can't volt I got, I've got a... I've got Epic old man out, so... Me too, and and I think I have to send out Mace, even though Cast Form is a water type. I have to do it, because all my other Pokemon are water. <laughs> They're all susceptible to electric, because I've got Do Duo. Exactly. So I mean, it, I it's have. It's not the most have, balanced uh, team on both sides. Like, you don't have any fire types, do you? No, I, I we we lost that Flareon that we both had just because of, um, you know, mm. uh, Destiny Bond at last minute. Welcome to the stream, Revan. Hope you're doing well. We're just diving back fire into the co-op, and uh, you know, I haven't done it in a couple of weeks. I had my uh, COVID back shot Thank the second one a couple of weeks ago. How was that? It was good. Uh, honestly, I have felt more symptoms the first time. Oh, okay. And I, I can't remember which ones I got. I <laughs> the second Pfizer. one wrecked me. I think they were both <laughs> Pfizer. Um, it didn't, yeah, the second oh, okay. one didn't wreck me as much. Um, I was actually totally, like, I was out for like two days just in terms of um, just like soreness and pain and not, like, I couldn't move my arm, that kind of thing. Um, headache, yeah. that kind of thing. Like, pretty, pretty standard stuff. Didn't feel like nauseous or anything like that. I know some people feel, felt nauseous from taking it. Uh, yeah, I, I, I got a, I got a bad headache and a terrible fever for like ten hours on the second one. But after that, that was the, that was it. Like, it just went away. Mm. Um, poison type. What's his weakness? We got a my Round. my ninja boy has. A Nido King and an Electabuzz, which is a pretty intense team. Yeah, and um, and there's a Lyron, I think, too. Oh shit! Oh, okay, oh, for, well, oh, um, the next the next uh, trainer, sorry, the next trainer is going to be Cast Form and Lyron. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm fighting them uh, together. I'm fighting them as a. Shit. Uh, poison. Poison. Poison is weak against uh, ground and water. Okay. Ground and water. Okay. I got. <laughs> I've got plenty of water. And, and psychic. Oh, that's why I was going to bring Gold Digger out. Got it. Yeah, Psychic too. Um, you had to chain your fridge down. What? Because what uh, the food started uh, coming <laughs> back to life. Went metric. Do you have that fridge from Ghostbusters? Zoo. God, there was a <laughs> there was a joke in there. It went Maverick. I just thought of Mega Man. Oh, nice. It suddenly got a logo and started working for Sigma. <laughs> Refrigerator man. Oh, no, it, it would, would it would it wouldn't it be that. It would, it would be like uh, chill freezer. Cold man, that. chill man. Chill, chill man, cold. Oh. <laughs> well, because they're not man. They don't have man, right? Um, the Mavericks have like those weird. That's like, boomer, true. Boomer Kawanger. It just ice chest. Spark man drill. Yeah, exactly. Ice chest. I like that. One. <laughs> ice chest. Freeze chest. Um. Ooh. He, and he's like, uh, he's, he's, uh, or ice box. He's an ice boxer. Yeah, that's good. There we go. That's a Mega Man boss if I've ever heard of one. Uh, Revan has been right. saying, I've been playing that new Paper Mario 64 hack the last few days. What new Paper Mario 64 hack? Yeah, uh, please tell? explain. I know there's a random what is this for, magic? for uh, the Thousand Year Door. Um, and there's some mods people have made for po for Paper Mario on 64, but I don't think I've uh, I don't think I've heard of anyone hacking it before. That's cool. 
that is awesome because it's one of those games that like the style other than of course like bug fables and stuff doesn't get a lot of love and uh, we're going to be trying out Revan's um, brand new beta of their ROM hack of Pokemon Mystery Red Rescue Team. Um, it's got, it covers the whole story, I guess, um, and it's in a part of our retro request queue. So for Sundays, uh, I think in a, in a couple of weeks it'll be like, um, we'll be caught up to that moment and we'll give it a shot. I'm stoked. Also, uh, Revan did that one hack of emeralds they were talking about as well oh That's nice previous, previous I, I think i was there when when they had mentioned mm -hmm. uh the mystery dungeon yeah i'm excited to Ram dive into hack. that series like i haven't played them i know there's a 3ds mystery dungeon game i know that there's a ds mystery dungeon game and a game boy advance one which is the the red rescue team um, but it's uh you know obviously i really liked games like pokemon conquest and things like that on the DS. <laughs> Easy clamps. Some of the some of the spin-offs um, just didn't get sequels, right? Yeah, that's true. Like uh, you know, like one of the best ones, Hey You Pikachu. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, Puzzle League, Pokemon Puzzle League was kind of cool. I, I I'd be down for it. Like if they made a sequel on the GameCube, that'd be, that would have been pretty sweet. I'm down. I mean, I I always enjoy like the pretty pretty simple puzzle games. I really the weirdest one that I enjoyed was um, what is it? Uh, Dr. Robotnik's like Mean Bean Machine. Oh, I love that game. I had it on the. I know, the, isn't it great? The Sonic like Gems Collection, because it wasn't really released on any. Like I don't think it was. It might have been just like European only on the Super Nintendo. Like it, I, I didn't know that was a thing here back in the day. But it's it's a fun game. It's basically like the Puyo Puyo Pop mm -hmm. game. Um, there's also or, a Kirby's uh, what version, was that? Kirby's Avalanche, which is the same. Oh yeah. Style, like the same. And then type Kirby game. also had the golf game, right? Yeah. Dream course? Yeah, dream course. I can't wait for that. That's going to be when we start doing those Sunday de stressing streams in the morning where I'll be playing Stardew Valley and puzzle games. Um, I just got a second controller, so me and my partner Michelle are going to do some dream course. It's actually really fun. Nice. It's a fun, uh, fun co op game. Um, I just this, uh... taught Lil Pump a Morning Sun instead of Screech, so now it's a healing bird. Hell yeah. Nice. She's got a Scyther. I'm pissed. Flame Wheel. <laughs> oh, the Scyther has hail. I love it. Um, it's my new concept album, Fridge Magnetic. That does sound like a concept album. Oh, that's great. That is an amazing name it, for, uh, for a It is, Fridge yeah. Magnetic. Fridge Magnetic. Um, Revan is saying the Paper Mario 64 hack is called Paper Mario Black Pit, and it's based off of the Pit of 100 Trials from the Thousand Year Door. Um, oh. But it also has its own story going for it. Nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you're still waiting for Coliseum and XD ports for the Switch. That would be really cool. I haven't played those games, but I've seen people randomize them, Revan. Um, and you can randomize them. I know that one of them is, I think it's Coliseum, Pokemon Coliseum, um, that is mainly focused on double battles. I wish I could XD the shit out of this Scyther she has. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's up, Poppy? How you doing? I, seriously, I want the Scyther. Let me have it. I I played uh, a little I bit of XT. I'm doing back the double day. battle again. I'm I'm done. Okay, Linoon and Staryu. That's not too bad. We can do that. Let's yeah. That's that, that. You've got a team for that. Um. Yes, we're gonna change Pokemon. Go, epic so, man. I think the volume is okay. Let me know if you need more game audio, folks. Anytime. Yes, please let us know if there are any issues. Always appreciate it. Yeah, I'm in a You are not being a problem by telling us that things aren't working. Hyper voice. Cedra. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cedra having hyper voice just reminds me of uh, Missy Elliott on the team who we lost the uh, Chimka. Because that was like one of the. Oh, yeah. Just a, just a reminder of the past. The long gone past. Revan says My favorite part of the Paper Mario hack is that you can change costumes to different Mario skins. And one of the mm -hmm. first ones you unlock is Dupless Mario. <laughs> Purple Mario. Nice. Because Dupless is. Um, 
Is Dubliss a, a, a boss in the Thousand Year Door? I can't remember. It's either the Thousand Year Door I believe or, it's, so. or it's the original Paper Mario. I could be wrong. Oh shit. Oh no. It's not from Super Dupla. Paper Mario. Yeah, it's it's definitely a boss. From the it's it's, it's like a, a, a goofy ass like um it basically just looks like uh, if a shy guy was wearing a sheet over his. Yeah, Dupless is uh, is in Thousand Year Door. It's the weird uh, level where there's like a little town and they're like, I think they're like zombie people. And like oh, yeah, the only like way, possessed. yeah, and the only way you can actually fight him is you have to find the 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 letters of the name. You have to actually figure out what it, you can't beat him if you don't know his name. Oh, hilarious. And you gotta find the letters of the name. So it's like uh, Voldemort. It was pretty hilarious. <laughs> you can't beat yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. Then you go in the hack, just read him Voldemort. Nice. Make uh, new sprites. Yeah, Revan says it's, it's boss four of uh, the Thousand Year Door. Okay. Bam. It's the fourth gym leader. Oh shit! There's a there's a <laughs> Leon sitting here in my way. It's um, just uh, it's Flem Leon. We can't... Because I have a hard time saying the name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Clec Leon. <sighs> Leon. Clec Leon. That's easier. <laughs> Excuse me. Just clear Excuse me. Leon. Leon S. Pokemon? Kennedy. Clec Leon. Oh. <laughs> Clec oh. Leon. Ooh, you like Clec Leon? It's like, no, no, no. It's just clear in my throat. It's Charmeleon. <laughs> it's Charmeleon. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Clec Leon. It's another... Ya they're Yanmas. Nice. Um, can we cast this a Pokemon in easy this area? Clip. Or we've already... We've already attempted that, I think. We're in the same route still. Yeah, because I don't think this is a new route. Yeah, that's true. Duplice's battle music is, in Revan's opinion, one of the best boss themes in the first two years. Wait, I'm gonna look that up real quick. I don't know oh, the, never mind. Um, I don't know the, the boss themes that well, because I just haven't played them in a very long time, but I spent so much time like, I have very different experiences. Paper Mario 1, I remember renting multiple times with my cousin. We we easily spent, like, twice the amount of money on the game. Like, the actual cost of buying the game, renting it, because we would just keep renting it for another week, and then we would just, like, keep continuing until just we need it. Um, hey, we, that's we, the way to do it. But we should have just, um, should have just bought it. But then Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, I replayed, like, a bunch of times. It's really good. Like, it's we're really, gonna be, really we're good. We're going to be playing both on stream. And in fact, uh, Stegosaurus McCartney just redeemed for our regular Sunday queue, just redeemed Super Mario RPG recently. Ooh, so once that's get, also really once good. Once we get to that, I'm going to be playing Super Mario RPG. And then I'm going to do Paper Mario 1, Thousand Year Door, Mario & Luigi Superstar Sega, Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, um, all the way up to Dream Team. So I'm gonna try and play every oh, single. Oh, those are really RPG. good. Um, not the Paper Mario ones. Basically, I'm kind of playing the way I group those games together is based on their battle system. So I'm playing the ones with okay. the good, good battle systems, basically. Folks, I'm gonna look up if this is a new route because I don't think. I just want to make sure this okay. isn't Route 121 because uh, if it is, I think we have to catch a Pokemon here, right? And if it is, I just ran into my first encounter, which is a Quillfish. I don't even because uh, because I might I might have fucked up really bad here. Um, I don't think so. Uh, I, Pokemon. I, I didn't see a change, but I could be wrong. Pokemon Emerald version map. No route. It probably is, it's going to be twenty uh, one twenty one, right? If it is. If it is a new route, yeah. Because go, as soon as you go like um, east of. Fall Arbor Town, where we just were. Yeah. Yeah, Revan, I'm gonna skip a Sticker Star, Color Splash. You know, I I have Color Splash and Sticker Star. I own them, so I still still support supported uh, Nintendo. Um, I, even, I, even though I they're just, not my favorite I can't, games. Let, I can't let Robert Smith know, so I just never bought them. <laughs> yeah, you'll never get invited to another Cure concert. So. Yeah, I know, and <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but I'm a boy and I cry, and I really. You I need uh, those invites. <laughs> I know, I need them. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, uh, Sticker Star, I, like, it wasn't bad, it just wasn't what I, it's not the type of game I want to play. Nope, you know? this is not a new route. Not a new route, okay. Yeah, cool. I, I just, I, I don't, what I don't like about it is just, I don't like my attacks being limited to items that I have. 
That's the only thing that gets me. I don't like limitations on, like, because generic attack, you got to have a sticker for it, you know? Yeah. I, I just, I'm not a fan of that. Because it's like, I guess it's similar, of course, to buying bullets, I guess, in a, any FPS. So I guess it's nothing new, right? It's yeah. not really that bad. Well, so but... you, you probably wouldn't like the Mega Man Battle Network series, because I feel like that's where it really is inspired by, right? Like, you you uh you know you, you play cards and every time you make any move basically uh, because you're using well, i like, like card rpgs a lot yeah um but i thought that when you played sticker star when you use the sticker it was gone because in battle network your your chip or whatever oh, your, yeah. your chip set or you deck don't lose is, it. it stays yeah, yeah 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 you don't lose it so yeah so thinking about that that's true if you're playing like a Yu Gi Oh game or magic the gathering and then like let's you say you lost the match and you lost suck. your deck. That would suck. So every card is one use. So yeah, I totally get that. I totally get that. That's kind of dumb. It's you know at least they attempted to make some to do something different. But like I said before, like it's totally fine to do what they did, but just also come back, make Paper Mario three, make that sequel that we mm -hmm. all want. Um, however, I do really uh, I'm intrigued about Paper Jam. I haven't heard too much uh, about it or seen too much about it, but Paper Jam is that is, where is uh, Mario? Game. ends up working for a uh, lifeless uh, printer company. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and he Luigi gets changes his name to a Xerox Michael machine. Bolton, I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Michael Bolton's mansion. A... <laughs> <laughs> I'm familiar with this. I've heard about this. Um, no, uh, Paper Jam is, is like it's the latest Mario and Luigi game, but um, in Partners in Time, there's like time travel, so I think that they have like interdimensional travel in, in those games. And basically, in Partners in Time, you play as Mario, Luigi, and Baby Mario, and Baby Luigi. Mm -hmm. So even though Back to the Future teaches us you cannot meet your past selves, Mario and Luigi are like, let's go on an adventure. And you can. <laughs> and you can. It's totally fine. I mean, there's going to be all sorts of mental and emotional repercussions. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> time itself you know, is going to be like irreversibly damaged. But it's totally fine. Hey, you know what's the best thing? <laughs> about all of the trauma that you will you will feel knowing that despite you helping a past self um you're never going to be a part of that dimension in which that past self exists yeah. meaning that all that they experience you in the other dimension will not be what you experience so you're still going to go back to your shitty world yeah where nothing's changed yeah isn't that sad <laughs> Mario's I'm just like, saying, isn't that sad? Hell, man? <laughs> no matter how much you help yourself, <laughs> like. That's funny. Well, pa so Paper Jam is the same concept, I guess, because you play as Paper Mario, and mm. Mario from Mario and Luigi Superstar Sega. Like, it's weird. They just like brought him into the game. Wow. Well, not Smash. I, it's just such a weird concept. It's still not Smash. No Paper Smash. This Hulk. Paper smash. <laughs> Hulk in school. <laughs> Hulk in school? Yeah. Oh no. Hulk write thesis. <laughs> <laughs> write thesis. <laughs> Uneffective anger management. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's trying to type it on a, on a typewriter. And he's, he's just destroying the typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> as he as he hits each individual key, yeah. just smashing the typewriter. <laughs> It'll actually end up like that episode of SpongeBob where he has to type the paper. Yeah. Damn, I'm facing a, a bird trainer with that also happens to have uh, a Firo. Which, by the way, Firo is super super underrated Pokemon. I was, I've been playing Pokemon Stadium One recently and doing the gym leader castle, and um, it's actually pretty badass to have on the team. Yeah, like uh, I was like, Firo hits like a truck. Yeah. But um, I feel like people a kind, of, off kind of forget about um, Spiro and Firo and like Mankey and Primate. Maybe, maybe because they're pissed off. Maybe that's why they're pissed yeah, off because they know they're, they're, they're not going to be like the classics. They're like, they're going to be forgotten. Oh! <laughs> Shit! Moon! Did we just Did you get them? to the part where there's the grass labyrinth? Um, yeah, I like just fought a uh, Yanma, and then now I'm just facing like a bird trainer who had the. the, the uh, did you see the item below him? There is an item. Yeah, I just haven't uh, gotten to it yet. Guess what it is? It is a experience share, a third experience share. No, a second one. No, it's 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 not necessarily better, but it's a good item. 
another lucky it, egg. It, uh, it, it, no. You're, you're getting there, but it's it's nothing to do with experience. Not Master Ball. Yes. Oh, it's a fucking Master dude. Ball. Dude, okay, it, perfect. <laughs> perfect. That's amazing. Guaranteed. Oh, what? This bird trainer actually had a Farfetch, too. That doesn't yeah. make sense. Um, we haven't. The one thing we haven't randomized, by the way, is abilities. I thought that initially we we thought that we did with this seed, but I guess for some reason it didn't. Yeah, didn't that that it, it's weird. It didn't work, I guess. But it's kind of cool. Like it's okay. It worked out. I mean, it's prevented us from being trapped this time. I guess because uh, a lot of um, Pokemon ended up having trap abilities the first two seeds. Totally. That's crazy. <clears throat> it's just a Master Ball just sitting in the a swamp, basically. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a little dirty, but... Oh, we can't even have a secret base, even if we wanted to, because we don't have uh, secret power. Yeah, because it ended up being like... A different Pokemon. Didn't end here. up being like a swap skill or some weird thing. Yeah. Um... You gotta enable yourself to go backwards and fix your timeline, maybe trigger that domino effect. Yeah, if you went back in time like that, you'd actually have to be the only one. Like, it'd have to be your own timeline, and there wouldn't have to be another version of you. So, that's wild to think about. Yeah. All right, there's it's, this it's nerd. Your kids, Mario. It's, it's the kid your kids. version of you, Mario. We gotta go back to the future. Wow! Not you. You don't get to be in this game. 88 was per hour. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the movie Speed. <laughs> I had to wa 60 miles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. When I was a kid. Oh my god. I had to wa to school. When I was a kid. Uphill both ways. Both wires. And then I hit him with a wa. God, Waluigi. It's just so meme but like, so I, I do feel bad for Waluigi. I feel bad because they just haven't, they haven't utilized Waluigi well. Like, honestly, throw him into no. a Wario game. Do they just not hang out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> do they <laughs> only hang out like when, they, when they play golf and go for kart racing? Like He's like, the, he's like a, you know what he is? He's a historical friend. He's like somebody that they all been friends with, but like, uh, like they don't like hang out with ever but they kind of feel like they have to because they like know him. Yeah. So they like invite him to golf and stuff, but he doesn't get his own game. Oh my God, Geppetto, hold on. Scyther's crazy, man. Scyther is beefy as hell. Almost knocked out our I, completely. I can't remember the moves that Scyther has. I know it's hail and something else that I, I saw. I feel but... like Waluigi, I think it'd be really cool because Waluigi doesn't have like a story or like a purpose. It doesn't feel like he has a purpose. Um, like there's no yeah. there's no lore at all. I think it'd be really interesting if like Wario stole a bunch of shit because he always does. Like has a, has like, a <laughs> bunch of treasure, and Waluigi gets jealous. Like he sees what Wario has and then wants what Wario has because he feels like this emptiness because there isn't a purpose for him. You write that into. And does he just become the villain you, you for just, a Wario yeah, just, game? Just make him become the villain. Like make him become like almost like uh, Riku in Kingdom Hearts. And this is crazy to say to, to actually throw that into the sentence there, but. Make him but, like Riku in Kingdom Hearts, where, where he slowly from. becomes corrupted and becomes greedier to the point that he becomes greedier than Wario, and kind of like make him get crazy, make his mustache fray, and like make him become a little more like Doctor Wily style, and show the progression of this like crazy. He already looks crazy, right? So he, like, oh, yeah, he just exactly. plays into the. He doesn't have a crazy personality, but imagine him transform into that, and then because like he's not even technically he like steals from everybody. Like, <laughs> Yeah, and he's not technically even a villain, given the fact that we, he's had no screen time to be one. He just looks like one. Yeah. Right. Well, that's so, that could be the cool thing to explore. Is like it's this is a society, <laughs> the game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is what it is. That's funny. I could see this working. It could work actually, and 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 maybe it's a platformer. Maybe it's not. Uh, maybe you play as Waluigi stealing stuff from Wario. Maybe like you watch like. You see Wario leave a level every time you enter a level, and then Waluigi has to go through and try and steal stuff from him or something like that. Or you try and yeah, stay one and we, level ahead. 
We can just call it like a, it can be like some weird game where like, you know, it's alliteration. I think we talked about this when, uh, I don't know if I was like playing um, just regular Super Mario World or like the Lost Levels, but I remember yeah. talking about, um, yeah. Actually, no, I was on your stream, you were playing a, a ROM hack and we were talking about how like all the Kirby levels are just like, you know, like it's like vanilla donut. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, dream yeah. mountain, like Yogurt it's always yard. like a food. You just look at the Waluigi's weird wonder factory or something. Yeah, and then totally. bam, it's a Nintendo game. Like, yeah, and, and he like wants to, you know, he that's why he's stealing stuff because he wants to, you know, he basically wants friends. It would have to be one of those things. Like maybe he, he, he gets invited to things less and then he just wants he just wants to be known. Like he's basically Waluigi could be a sociopath. For sure. What's with everybody having to destroy the world just to get a friend? I mean, like, honestly. <laughs> Just one friend. There's a awesome series of raps uh, through the perspective of Waluigi. I think there's like three of them. Oh, nice. Like there was a rapper who decided to do um, like a whole series of like uh, raps through his perspective. Yeah. Just because like he doesn't get any credit. So it's, it's pretty awesome. Like he's very, very uh, angry in these raps too. That's what, that's what I mean. Like, there's no personality for Waluigi, so it's like it, it ends up being that like fans just make up a personality, right? And I mean, he became a a very angry rapping villain, basically, as a result. Revan will see you in a bit. Thanks for uh, dropping in. Also, uh, thank you, for Revan. Being here. Said Wario is too busy getting trapped in music boxes to hang out with Waluigi. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Everything he steals, he just opens up I don't and even pulled know. into and has to play a new game. Here, there's eight <laughs> worlds in this, inside this diamond. If you want to be let out of the diamond, you have to collect every single diamond inside like, the diamond. Like, Wario's whole entire career is getting stuck in objects. Yeah. Hey, but but it makes sense for, for Wario, though, because he's such a thief that, like, he's going to find a bunch of cursed objects, right? And, and he so easily, he just... without thinking, would, would, like, activate them. Exactly. He would grab it. He would. He would touch anything if it looks like a diamond or gold. Yeah. All right. Uh, we gotta surf across this bad boy. Well, and there's the item. genie at, at the end of uh, Wario Land One. Um, and that that kind of ties into that same thing. Like he finds a lamp and then activates the genie. Actually, I think it might be the, um, Captain Syrup that was working with the genie, but still. Yeah. If you have enough money at the end of Wario Land One, you can give the genie coins and then he'll build a castle for you so you can actually get a castle at the end but when we played it to celebrate 300 followers we ended up um, uh, getting like a tree house like a, like a hollowed out tree was as all we could afford oh, we, but we had 25,000 coins so we had to get way geez, more geez and that's all you could afford yeah so there's like, like the perfect the ending you need like a ton of coins but then Wario Land 3 like caps your coins at 900 because or 999 and there's nothing you can do with coins except for use them to play the minigame so it totally changes it and the game's more like metroidvania style anyway but mm -hmm. Wario Land 1 2 and then 4 returns back to basics is all about collecting as much coins as possible the uh the one that you were playing was that Wario Land uh th the one you were playing recently on stream where like the the boss was like some weird ghost oh, that was uh, that was the fourth one so that was on game boy advance and it's and, crazy and that one was it came wild. out a year after the third one. the third one has so much more content and it was done at the end of the game boy color like life cycle and uh then yeah. this one was like clearly a rushed launch title um i could i could tell it, it especially it like, short, like very, very uh short. the uh, mechanics on that final boss i i understand your frustration like mm -hmm. It, it was really very awkward, the whole... And um, there was a bunch of bosses like that in that game. Like, they were, they were like, fairly easy, but, like, the hitboxes, like, the logic behind fighting them was kind of weird. Like, picking up items and tossing them, and then, like, hitting things but that's, in a know, weird way. It's similar to the way bosses work in, in the Game Boy Color ones, so, like, in Warrior Land 2 and 3. It's just that, for some reason, like, I, I just feel like it could have been that it was rushed, that they, uh... It's just not as refined. Like that's that's what I love about Mega Man games, even though I'm not great at them, is that I feel like the boss fights are really good. Oh yeah, like wonderful boss fights. Like good flow to them. Uh, even though thank they you might for stopping by, Elliot. Hopefully, uh, whatever you got going on goes well. 
I mean, I I adore. Oh god, no! It's the area dose. Dance. Who should learn swords dance? Ooh. I'm gonna teach it to soy sauce, soy sword. Oh, your job. Oh, I thought you started your work today. Is that what you said? Job hunt, boo. Yeah, that's never fun, right? I applied for a couple jobs. Oh. The local university today to maybe uh, work at the um, at the like local radio station, like the university. Oh, that would station. be cool. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a lot of experience with sound design stuff, so and sound engineering. Oh, yeah, anything that works. To that. Um, and then also applied to some community centers to maybe do some programming. I have a ton of curation and programming experience, like uh, programming for like maybe classic stuff and do, do like admin mm -hmm. community outreach. And, uh, and then also, okay, interesting, like, medical health-related work-from-home job, too. So all sorts of weird, <laughs> three completely drastically different it's, things. It's quite the mixed bag, isn't it? It's Bulbasaur, Squirtle, or Charmander. Which one will I choose? <laughs> it's, a, it's a hustle to, uh, <laughs> to do a job hunt, though. I know. Uh, Elliot timing. gave me a pretty good lead on a uh, uh, French warranty uh, specialist. A bilingual warranty specialist. You mean a warranty specialist? No, how do you a warranty, <laughs> exactly. It's, a, it's specifically a warranty. Whoa, whoa, uh, warranty. What's wrong with tea? What did it ever do to you? Specifically, uh, Sam's lead. Yeah, I hope it works out too. Nice. Uh, I don't know. I, you know, it would be a really cool job. Um, that some people end up getting, just like eventually working with like. Uh, Ableton and stuff, but mm -hmm. like there are people who end up becoming trainers for that DAW. Oh yeah, that end up working for the company. Yeah, totally. My buddy like, just that would uh, be a teaches, lot of fun. Like one of my bandmates uh, teaches kids. He does like just a summer workshop, but he teaches kids how to uh, how to work with Ableton and gets them like nice uh, learning how to like record vocals and keys and ba just like basic stuff. But it's it's yeah. the kind of stuff that like when I went to school and paid for an education for sound engineering and all that stuff, um, that was would have been one of my courses. So it's kind of cool that like I feel like at the age of eight to like 13 that you can kind of learn this thing. Oh yeah, and it's a, it's a it's a wonderful thing for kids to be doing too. Like, mm -hmm. like they were going around uh, recording just... like stuff in nature, like going to a park and just recording sounds, like like a car horn. Getting or samples and whatnot. And, and yeah, and then bringing it in and, and learning how to sample it. And so one person just had a whole. Uh, one kid, it was so funny. Everyone was making like pop music or like or like a certain genre, like pop or blues or rock. And then one kid was just like, "This is what the sound of the inside of a trash can would sound like." And it was just like ambient, like shh, 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 like all sorts of weird noises. And I was like, "Yes, that's <laughs> yes, amazing. that's how you do it." I mean, that's just a unique mind at that point. <laughs> oh yeah, one hundred percent. Like, but uh, the cool thing about like uh, as they call it, like warping samples and stuff is that um, you can take something that completely, it's what it is. Like, uh, for instance, I've been working with uh, like some old television, like uh, talking films, oh, yeah. you know, like samples. Yeah, totally. And and you can completely warp them so it still sounds like something is like, like so you're not getting the content of what's being talked about. Yeah. And you're not just slowing down like the or speeding up the sample by using transposition or whatnot. Yeah, totally. But you can make it where it sounds alien, and it, it it's very good for anything that you're trying to do to like disorient or horrify people. Well, I recorded because uh, regular. Uh, I recorded one time a conversation okay. through a wall that my grandma yeah. was having on the phone. My grandma was just talking to her sister on the phone when I was younger. Yeah. And all I could hear was like. <laughs> Like just just the bass note, and so I recorded yeah. that and put that into something, and then mixed like messed with it enough that it was it sounded super weird. Added like some phasing and I stuff, love it. and that became like just the texture in the background of a, an ambient track. But that's kind of that's, the same that's thing. Awesome. It's like that's obviously like even us talking. Both of us have a cadence right now to how we're talking. If mm -hmm. you um, there's a lot of people who do it on YouTube. I think Mono Neon is uh, that bassist who he'll just like have people's speeches and stuff and he'll play all the bass notes perfectly to like what notes that people are saying to what they're saying yeah oh and, nice and uh there's just really cool like if you really just take a moment to think about it everyone has a cadence and everyone has an instrument that would perfectly 
like fill that out. Oh, and everything ends up being like everything's a note, right? So like even what you just said. Yeah, everything, even what I just said, is a note. Like it's just like you know what I mean. Like it's it's weird how musical language is. And that's one of the reasons that uh, I love uh, I love warping samples because um, you can get to the point where things aren't recognizable and the, everything's basically usable. Yeah. If you warp it enough, right? Yeah, totally. However, I would be very careful because I agree with what Big Crit has said, where you gotta check your samples. If you're not gonna make them yourself, yeah, check them you for gotta diseases. check your samples. Check them for ticks. Yeah, exactly. Like roll them over in your fingers <laughs> once or twice. <laughs> You know, put the magnifying glass to him because you might be sued if you don't. Mm -hmm. But yeah, seriously, like definitely, uh, it's better to do your own stuff. But sometimes it's a pain. So even if, like, for example, I believe if you use Ableton, everything that you've purchased is available for you use and any of your music, right? The only thing you can't use, of course, is like the sample tracks they've made, which usually are like the things that they play when you first open the program because they like want to show you what you can do with what they have right oh, you can't use clearly those? you can't use it shit no you, shit. i got it shit. oh guys i'll be right back i gotta i gotta pull a bunch of stuff from spotify real quick <laughs> it's just like and you didn't even change it it's just like ableton uh ableton uh what is it what would it be what's the word i'm thinking of um like intro demo, yeah, uh, ableton demo track yeah. dot wav and you didn't even change it you just changed the number no so that's the name two, of my that's three. the name of my song ableton demo track <laughs> dot, dot wav Shit. i gotta i gotta pull this i gotta pull this guys <laughs> i don't think ableton's gonna like this that's funny um yeah no totally uh what i what i do often and because i have a lot of uh pieces of music on a computer I can't really edit like I, I have an older laptop with like over a thousand pieces of music it's crazy I, I, mm -hmm. I spend a bunch of time just like it's easy with digital files to just save them and put them in a folder um, oh yeah but I can go back I can't open the DAW but I can go back and grab something that I made in 2009 or 2010 and then I just micro sample or sample myself I sample something I made a long time ago yeah and then you just avoid that completely or even if you're just messing around with something and um, then you want to add a sample, just try sampling the thing you just did, and then, you know what I mean? Like, run oh, that yeah. through, and then you, like, mess around with it. Who knows? You, you'll come up with something, like, totally different. It's kind of like using... Oh, and, like, I learned how to do drones. Oh, cool. Drones are a super fun and easy thing to do to give, like, your track, um, some, like, background noise. Yeah. Um, and you can definitely easily do it in Ableton. So, uh... Basically, it's just like a, a sample that you've made that plays throughout the majority of your track just to fill space. Yeah, totally. And you can use like a because like Ableton's like reverb has a freeze button, right? Yeah. So what you can do is you can take like a sample, like I don't know, like maybe like a. Um, it's like sample and hold. I don't know, like, right? like you're sampling something, yeah, but, yeah. but also holding the note down kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. So you'll like take like let's just say you like uh, dropped a pen or like you you rolled something across like um, like a surface and you sample it. What you can do is you increase the amount of uh, space, like how how big the sound ends up being. So like how washed out it is by the reverb, and you can increase the um, the uh, the decay time so that it doesn't it doesn't, doesn't like you know um, stop as quickly. And then you can like put a resonator on it and you can match it to, of course, whatever key you're into. You know, you can put like seven resonators on it if you want and you can hit freeze. And what you can do is you, you record the track, um, you record that onto the track itself and then you end up getting a however long you want it to be, like maybe 10, 20 seconds of drone. Yeah. And then you can use that as a new sample, as a drone. Yeah, totally. Like, it's super simple. But then the source of it came from you, like all from the get-go, like, which is really cool. Yeah. And even if it's somebody somebody else's sample, you can modify it so, so intensely that literally somebody would have to take the same sample and do the exact same thing as you do, which would be yeah. ridiculous, right? And like, before um, before I went to school for for audio engineering, I had just like a tiny little handheld mic, 
In fact, it's funny, I'm using that same mic right now for my stream, which is hilarious. It's from, oh, I just nice. still have it. But I used to just hold it up to my grandparents' TV. I'd turn on Turner Classic Movies, watch an old film. It'd be like a car driving by or like a little jazz section, and I would do the same thing with that. Like the same process you're saying, mm -hmm. like, like make it completely unrecognizable, but start with like a public domain movie or... It was really fun. A fun, yeah, a fun like really sandbox cool. way to ex like experiment, right? Like, and like there there are tons of musicians that it's so wild like you never see it happen but like people are out there recording samples and doing crazy stuff with music all the time mm -hmm. um and some of the stuff's is fairly easy simple tricks uh that you can just pick up on immediately and it can it can really boost the style of music you're going for it it's totally. like i really like absurd stuff i like i like horrifying stuff i like really fun stuff mm -hmm. like i really like the future based stuff that came out mm -hmm. and uh to do this stuff i had to learn a bunch of new methods that i'm not familiar with because when i started music i was going in it to thinking i would just make like hip-hop beats right mm -hmm. so i started with that and now I've gone into a lot of different territories that are way beyond that. Mm -hmm. As much as I still love making hip hop beats, they're so much fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like that and was just your entry, well, your entry point, right? And then eventually, yeah, it leads you to something else. I mean, a lot of people start with hip hop beats, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's where, um, I mean, a lot of like self-made musicians, especially, are hip hop artists, you know. You yeah. make the tracks, you make the beats. For me, I think it was just, um, I always saw it as painting. Like, I always saw, like, the layering of sound as painting. Um, and I never, like... Oh, yeah, I could see I that. I didn't listen to that much music um, when I first started making music. I just kind of, like, had, like, maybe, like, I don't know, a handful of artists that I listened to, but not everything. Like, I didn't dive into music <clears throat> the same way I did later mm -hmm. on. Like, I was like, oh, I listened to, like, two or three songs by this one person, and that's it. But, um... Then I dove into it and it became like more about listening to the whole album and the intention behind it and stuff. Like actually dug after, into the music, you know? After messing around with the DAW though, like after trying to figure out, you know what I mean? Like I, got, I had the opportunity to kind of mess around with it first and then it was like, oh, I'm way more interested in like the whole piece now that people are making because obviously they're spending time working on it, you know? Like it just, it connects mm -hmm. you more with the process, I, I guess. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I'm in Route 121, so I just made it through, and there's like a double battle. Okay, because I just, I, I'm facing the bug maniac with the zigzagoon, and then I'm ready to do a um, encounter. Oh, cool. Okay. Have I you think, done the double battle here? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So okay. I'm ready for the encounter as well. So if you want to go for it, you can. Ooh, let's um, do it. As soon as you I said gotta... that, as soon as you said that it happened. Oh my god. Dude, level 26, Wild Mew. Oh, Master Ball time. Master Ball time. Holy shit. Talk about, <laughs> Holy turning, shit. The, talk about turning the tables. I hope we got some oh, good yeah. moves. Damn. I hope I, got a, I get a good Pokemon after this, right? I'll be loved. It'd be lovely to bring a Mew to the end. Hell yes. Two Mews. Oh, Mew yeah, too? Yeah, just two Mews. <sighs> Me too. Uh, oh no, I have to name this thing buttons. Bezos. I have to name this Bezos. Fuck Jeff. I have Bezos. to name it Jeffrey. If I... <laughs> okay. Uh, well, he doesn't own Amazon anymore. Fuck him. Yeah. It's just two Mews. <laughs> two Mews and Amazon. <laughs> I knew it was Mew all along. It couldn't be a man. That's so funny. Oh man. Um. Okay, so yours has to be named Jeffrey. <laughs> Whatever. Yes. Level 26, though, I'm happy that there's a, a, a high-level Pokemon, at least, as well. All right. Let me, uh... We got it. I'm just going to Master Ball it. All right. That's what I'm going to do if I run into one. Oh, shit. First Pokemon. What is it going to be? Is it a... It's a Cubone. Uh... <laughs> That's all right. It'll evolve, I like Cubone. It'll evolve into a Marowak. You should name it M Mirowak. Mirowak? It's got to be Jeffrey, <laughs> yeah, though. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Cubone's good, and you don't have any ground type. Uh, neither of us have any ground types on the exactly. team. I'm, ge I'm getting Mew, but there's no... Like, I already have Psychic Tech on the team, so... We'll have to see what the moveset is. Okay, I need to know what I can... 
That's awesome. Um, new species. Oh shit! Out. This is not the. Not this is not the Pokemon to have out. Yeah. What epical man? <laughs> Yeah, no, I had uh, I had uh, my sweater out, and I'm and then I was like, oh shit, yeah, this is not the Pokemon to have out for this. Oh yeah, that's right. You have two electric types. He's gonna beat my head in. A Bezos is said to possess the genes of all Pokemon. What? Oh, we got it. Two Great Balls. Nice. Nice. Marowak's a good a good Pokemon. It's the lonely think. Pokemon. I'd rather have Marowak on the team, I think, than Sandslash, if he had to go with ground type. All right, this is Jeffrey. Let's do it. Give a nickname to the captured Mew. Or can it, can it just be Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was Jeffrey. Was what was redeemed. I can't remember. This is Jeffrey. All right, I can cross that one off the list. Nice. Okay, that's awesome. The next one for me is Dylon. D-I-E-L-O-N. <laughs> Dylon. <laughs> um, we have a person berry. There's actually some good berries up here. Is that your next one? Dylon? Yeah, Dylon's the next one. That was uh, redeemed by Elliot. I have uh, Ono Ono, Space <laughs> Jam, and Bad Pokemon. I have... Dylon, Rick Ross, Jay Z, Omarion, <laughs> and then Butterfield, oh, and then geez. Ono Ono. But we can we can actually the next one can be Ono Ono if you want to because we, we can we can just match them up. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know the just intention. To get the, -ups. the intention for the redeem was that we both had had one. Oh my God, a second Wild Mew. <laughs> Jeez. I ran it's into the cool. only Cubone. Are they just cloning? Just um, let me see. Which is it's fine. I actually, it's it's nice to have somebody on the team that's not uh, water, electric. Okay, <laughs> to be see, honest. Let's see what the moves are all about. What's uh, what's your Cubone got? Uh, let's. I know that the Cubone has uh, the bone, bone orang, yeah, bone nice. meringue or attract silver wind, and sunny day. I'm gonna keep that silver wind for a while. Oh no. Um Don't die, Geppetto. <clears throat> oh no. We can't we can't have Pokemon dying on us. Uh how long till we get Grumpig? Is that level 32 probably? Ooh, I don't know. Cause I'm level 30 and I'm not seeing no it's possible it's 32, yeah. That would make sense. I can't see it being higher than that. Yes. I gotta heal All real right. quick. And then I also gotta just take a look at... Let's take a look and see what moves he got. Silverwind is a pretty great move as well. That's basically... Yeah, bug Pokemon. Isn't that just the bug, the bug type um, ancient power? You can get the stat boost. Yeah, it's the one that gives you the potential stat boost. That's great, actually. Great coverage for uh, ground type. Bezos the Mew caught by Master Ball. Synchronize passes on status problems. Doesn't mean it doesn't matter how rich she has you a are. Slow king. Doesn't matter how rich you are, you can <laughs> still get people sick, dude. Passing on the status oh, yeah. problems. Yeah. I hate it when I get when someone passes paralysis onto me. <laughs> or confusion. Yeah, or confusion. <laughs> That's, That's the worst. The worst. Um, That's the worst pa past confusion. Speaking of, we have uh, uh, Mew has confusion and psychic and agility, so that's actually pretty great. I taught Swords Dance just now to Soy Sauce, but if I nice. held on to my TM, I probably would have taught it to. I don't even. Where did you? Oh, we got Sword Dance from uh, the last gym, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna give Little Pump the Lumberry. Mew is holding a Lumberry, which is pretty cool. Heals any status. And then I'm gonna switch the experience share over to uh, Bezos. I don't this have a Bezos. grudge, Bennett. This is just a Pokemon battle, calm down. Oh yeah, that's what it is, the, the PP thing. Let's heal. Heal, heal, heal. Pigman Carl! 
All right, so we need one more level on him. Oh yeah, I bought like 20 before, uh, like last time, I think. Yeah. I'm the, I'm the same. I think I have 13 left now, 12 left. What, what's with everybody being so aggressive and grabbing our Pokenav and just shoving their numbers into it? Yeah. You're, you're a 10 year old kid, I can steal your phone from you if I want. I thought, I'm pretty sure that there was an option to say no. Unless that's in Not uh, any, I, not this one gold. I don't think. I think it's Heart Gold Soul Silver. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, you get to say no then. That sucks. Slowking. Wild Slowking. Nice. Or not wild, uh, in its trainer battle. Wild! Oh no! Hyper voice? Come on. Guys, uh, today we're doing a slow lock. <laughs> it's just uh, slow poke, slow bro, and slow king. That's all we get. No, and also uh, slack off, vigoroth, and slack off. Oh. Yeah, all the kings. <laughs> oh, needle king. Just a king lock. Oh, actually. If we don't yeah. have king in it, we can't have it. Sea king, needle <laughs> That'd king. That would be pretty cool. Wait, sea king, needle king, slow king. And Slay King. And Slay King. And Kingdra. I think that would be your team. And Kingdra. And Kingdra, right? And there's got to be one other one. Is there another? King K. Rool. There we go. <laughs> King K. Rool, yeah. It's just, he's, he's, he's just a Pokemon. Back. He would be, what, Grass Dragon? No. He, he's something like that. What, would, what type he's of just, He's actually just a, uh, he's just type. a Trico on drugs. That's really what he is. So dragon grass then. So like the same as. So basically he's like a mega septile, exactly the same. Tree corn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's All right. Uh, I don't oh, know God. where. Uh, okay. I don't know exactly. What is this building? Filled with rare poke. Oh, it's the Safari Zone. Nice. Shit. We're gonna get an encounter then. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Come on. Hyper I boys. don't want mech mail. I'm just trying to get all the stuff in the area. Because I think we got a... Oh, well, we got the safari zone. I'm facing Bennett as well right now. The same, same trainer you were just facing. Is there a, is there like a Poke Center in here? Oh, this is just the Safari Zone, isn't it? There should be a place to heal. Um, yes. I'm stoked that we got a Mew and a Keybone on the team. Now, now we actually do have a Team of Six, so your title, your stream title doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Is, uh, the Safari Zone, you just go in alone, right? Uh, oh yeah, you're right. You do. So we don't lose anything good doing this. Yeah, exactly. It's safe, it's just, it's we only get the Ari first zone. one we find, right? That's safe, Ari Zone. Oh, what the? Safe, Ari. There's, um, Team Is it is it the first one too. we see? Yeah, first, Or is it the first, first one, one we, we catch in the Safari? First one, it's first see, one? Think, okay. Yeah. That's how we usually do it. Like when I play uh, Leaf Green, we usually do it that way. So do we, are we going to the Safari Zone first or? Yeah, let's do it. I'm just talking to All right. the, what do we got right now? Healing wise. Yeah, we don't have too many healing items, but we don't have to worry about it. So your first time here? Yes. When you enter the Safari Zone, you start oh. with 30 Safari Balls for catching Pokemon. Uh, oh, we can't even go. We don't. I don't have a Pokebot case. Wait, what? You need a Pokeblock case so that you can like feed them or something. Oh, you seem to be without a Pokeblock case. Okay, so we have to come back. We have to. Oh yeah. no. So we, yeah, I know. Uh, we have to go to Lily Cove Contest Hall. I don't want to do a contest. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Uh. Oh wait, we don't we don't have to win the contest, don't we? Just gra get one if we grab it. Oh yeah, we just talked to someone. We just have to enter it, but we don't have to win it. And you know what? Um, you know, your Pokemon don't faint, so maybe it would be worth doing. Uh, we do have fly. 
But maybe let's get to another Pokemon Center first. Yes. And then fly, um, let's fly back to Lily Cove, get the Pokeball case, Poke Block case, and then we can catch something. Now I need to know if we go south or... Do we go to the right or south? Uh, what's the map looking like here? Uh, oh yeah, that's right. We got a map, folks. Uh, okay. South is going to be a C route. Uh, is that like, is that like two routes we've never used? Yeah, I think so. If we, and then it leads us back to Mauville, right? Yeah. Um, and then to the right is, oh, the right is Lily Cove. We can't fly there yet. Oh, okay. That's where we're going. Okay, gotcha. Um, do we, we go to Lily Cove first, right? And then do we loop for these two routes then, or? Dude, what do you mean loop though? Do we have to loop? Because we haven't, uh, because we went the north route. We didn't go route 123 and 122, I don't think. So we don't have those Pokemon. Yeah, no, we haven't, we haven't hit 122 or 123. Yeah. So I don't know if we do it sooner than later or... Uh, let's go to Lily Cove first, of course, but... I'm just caught in it. Caught in a battle with a Mew. They kinda oh, no. They, they kind of suck to, to run into because it's got agility and psychic, so it just keeps raising its speed. And then just psychic, psychic. Yeah. I mean, uh, Typhlosion's okay, though. It can, it can eat a few psychics. That would have been fun to run into, a Bulbasaur. Oh, nice. A Pokemon you're never supposed to run into in the wild, usually. You also don't uh, have any grass types, do you? Uh, not anymore. <laughs> you had Bailey. No. I think. I said that as though my last grass type died or something. Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> no. Oh, Bellsprout and Beldum. Perfect. It's a team of bells. <laughs> The one of those is much more dangerous than the other. Obviously, it's the Bellsprout. <laughs> it's the Bellsprout. I mean, look at that face. It's fucking horrifying. <laughs> is that what they have? A Beldum and a Bellsprout? Yeah, Beldum and Bellsprout for the, the, the d double battle. Oh, shit. Well, I'm going to do this double battle then. I skipped it just to just in case, but yeah, that's what they got. Yeah, they're both level 30, and I was able to one-shot both of them, so... Easy. I don't know I, if I I'm gonna be able to one-shot them. I just use Hydro Cannon on. Um, I sent out. Uh, oh, 132! Jesus Lobo. Christ! Um, and then Horsey <laughs> or Cedra uses uh, Hydro Cannon on on Beldum, and then I just use Luster Purge. Just one-shot both. Oh, okay, good. the Beldum's taken care of. The most horrifying beast remains. Look at that face. Oh, there's a few. Trainers? There's a few trainers. Okay, that's fine. All right, they're dead. And then what was this? What was no. south? If we, if we go south, is that just a, a swimming route? I think it's a. I think it's a. I don't know if it's a lighthouse or something. I don't remember, but it leads to I think our ability to go down south. Oh, uh, Mount Pyre. That route. Oh, that's where that. Oh, it's gonna want us to go there, right? Eventually, yeah. Okay, well let's let's uh, let's just take on the trainers here. Oh my God, there's Mews everywhere. Are you running into Mews at all? <laughs> or no? So many Mews. It's a music. Ah, I'm done. Do you run into? Are right. you running into them, or are you just running into like all the other? No, I just made a terrible pun. Oh, okay. That's what I did. <laughs> it's a music. Oh. All right. Oh no, not a ninja. -esque. They're fast. <laughs> Holy shit. Confusion does a ton of damage on, um, which I don't really get, on Seedra. It's like Seedra's specifically weak. What, what, is, what is uh, Fusion's a type? Like, what's the... Or, like, con Confusion and, um, and Psychic. Um, they're both Psychic types, so it's really weird that they're doing, like, it almost feels like they're doing more damage than they, than they would do on anyone else. But maybe Cedra hmm. just has really low special defense. Uh, let me let me check real quick. It's possible it has just higher defense. I don't know. Uh, right now uh, we have about the same thing, but the special defense is the worst stat. Yeah, that's why. Uh, the, so it's, but it's, the, it's the, the, taking the defense more. is good. Yeah, it's got really good regular defense though. 
Okay, uh, the next trainer is, they're both breeders, so it's gonna be a full team of six. If we do a double battle. So Thank you for that follow! Numo and Puchiana. XX Manolia, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. What, what, what is the next trainer app? It's a breeder? Oh no. It's a breeder, so... That means it's like six Pokemon, six right? Six Pokemon, yeah. Ooh, XX Manolia, Oof. thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. Thank you for those for follows. Speaking of which, I'm going to shout out 3up Moon yeah, real quick here, not, everybody. If you're not following Rathay, go, go check follow. out Rathay v. Marine. Yeah, we're really close. We're at 481 followers now, so only 19 nice. away from that Warrior Land 3 nonsense. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Oh, it's it's going to be wild. Am I going to run to my first Mew? Uh, oh so shit! You haven't run into one yet. That blows my mind. I've run into. No, like, this is my first one. one. I just ran into one. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, so the Pokemon trainer, uh, the breeders are gonna have Puchiana, Numo, Flaffy, and Bailey. So that's all pretty standard stuff. Oh shit! Not too bad. Um. I don't want to lose Nugget. They're all level 25 so far, every single Pokemon they've sent to. Oh, it's just level 25s? Yeah. It doesn't look like anything too frightening. Yeah. And, I'm just going to play it safe and, and see. Togepi, like, there's nothing, nothing there. But Mew's really tough against uh, Seedra, though. It's uh, It almost killed my Seedra twice. Ooh. And it, yeah, it's got the agility. Yeah, so it's faster, and also it's going to mess with you with Psychic. Psychic can also, it does have a chance, it's not a high chance, but it has a chance to lower your special defense even more. So it's a little dangerous. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I can see, because it does about, it does a little under half health. Yeah, it's like, I, I feel like other, like my Typhlosion can body a bunch of Psychics, but Confusion does a, a ton of damage just for Seedra. I just don't it's, want to run into Mews. I don't, I don't really know all the the like the intricacies of that, like what Pokemon have more special defense or. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about like I'm really absolutely garbage at the actual number game. Like I don't know. All I know is that sometimes like you, you know you don't want to bring your grass to a fire fight. Yeah, exactly. But you know you don't want to bring your. Like, I guess if you want to kill the thing in the swimming pool, you want to bring lightning. It makes sense, right? Yeah. We beat it. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Uh, pool Por type po Porygon Pokemon. Porygon was the last Pokemon as well. And they're all pretty oh, much nice. level 25, so that's not too bad. Ooh, and HP up. Earlier, I also used my PP up and PP max on full tackle and hydro cannon. Just to like oh, you... bump them up. Nice. Um, I, I, I might do PP that for Hydro Cannon. Hydro Cannon. It brings it to eight, which is pretty good. Ooh, that's pretty good. And then I use PP up oh, on that's... Full tackle, bringing it to six. So it's nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, do we have two PP up? Oh, that's crazy. Uh, another big shout out to all the awesome. all the recent followers. We have um, Enchanted Locket, 404 Preview, Gentle nice. Goblin. It'll, it'll show me here. Giranoxa or Giranoxa. Um, nice. XX Manolia. And Welcome in, everybody. Julia B98. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. I'm sure you followed at different times during different streams, but I'm still going to welcome you in regardless. Yeah. That's awesome. Retro. Oh, man. How's that? Oh, nice. Yeah, exactly. Greetings from Musician to is Musician. That what that is? is it male? Welcome. Yeah, I'm just tossing. No, no, I, I, I just had mail in my. Oh. In my. Okay, inventory. I was like, is that because I, I have a, a mech mail, mail and I have uh, a retro mail, which I'm just tossing. There's no need for that. One. Yeah, we well, can't do anything. It's got a uh, magnemite on it though. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Giranoxa, welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, greetings from a musician to musician. Oh. Both of us are musicians, actually. Nice. Got musicians in here. We don't. We don't do that. We don't do. We weren't talking about music or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a silent stream. Yeah, this is a silent stream. <laughs> Get that. That. Stuff at damaging ears and. There were way more clever ways I could have said something like that, but I didn't. 
<laughs> I just couldn't think of anything on the spot. <laughs> the ear pollution. There we go. Oh, we gotta fight all these dang ass trainers. It's okay. I'm gonna oh, fight he's the half a shark. The front half. Gentleman Walter. <laughs> I want to get a sharpedo and call it that. Half a shark. Just a shark head. Mudkip. Yeah, just shark head. The front half of a shark. Mudkip. I'm gonna send out 42 for this one. For anyone just joining, too, I'm playing with Wrath A V Marie, and we do like a weekly co-op of uh, Pokemon Emerald randomized. This is the furthest that we both got in the game in terms of this run, or any any like Nuzlocke run. And if a Pokemon faints, then it's considered dead. We can't use it again. It's like dead, dead. It's perma dead. That's and what the tags say. Our Pokemon are also linked as well. So like right now, I'm using. 42 the magneton which is like our first encounter that we that we had um and it's actually linked to the soul of uh Rathay's magneton we do have a couple of like double up pokemon like we both have a cedra that are linked we both have a slow burn that are linked but it's also because that chat um decided which we we're gonna play Maxa. thanks for the follow yeah thanks for following Rathay as well we both played double those lock challenges um separately as well and it's interesting to do the co-op because it becomes a totally different experience. Like it, it, it uh, I think it, it, it bumps up the difficulty just a touch. Oh yeah, it, it definitely does. Cause we, we actually have to communicate and figure things out. And there's lots of times and, where uh, there was a viable Pokemon on your team that I killed the partner on my end and vice versa. Um, exactly. In the middle of a battle, right? So if something happens to one of my Pokemon, it always also has to happen to Rathis and vice versa. Also, Gearnox, you love drums overall too. Yeah, me too. As a drummer, drums are awesome. Also, uh, a little uh, biased, but a drum and bass. Um, most drums and bass lines in video retro video games are some of my favorites, um, and actually inspired oh, me yeah. to get into it. And even this I, uh, the percussion in the in what we're listening to right now, it's like really. I'm intricate. a big fan of bass. Mm, nice. Uh, I don't. I don't know what to say. It. I'm sorry, folks. Like it's it's hard. That's another thing that like you know the back and forth of talking, right? Yeah. Um, chiming in and then like interrupting i feel bad about that boon like oh i don't i i, I think it's i feel like a, it's just the nature of we got two chats going right we've got both of us talking true true i it's just like we're talking about music and i really want to chime in everybody like it's just like yeah man i'm a fan of bait uh the drums i kind of have a bias and something i'm just like i like the bass <laughs> Well, I'm biased, I'm biased cool. just because like, <laughs> I, I just like spend a lot of time playing drums. But yeah, the reason true. why The reason why I even play drums is because my ear went to that first. Like, And I know for mm -hmm. some people it's like vocals, it's lyrics that they really pay attention to. Um, for me, it's drums, bass, and strings. Like, not guitar, but string arrangements. I don't know what it is, but my ears just kind of oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. pull those ones out first. And then... I'm sure it's different. Like it's different for every single person, right? And if you're lucky enough, oh, yeah. it inspires you to maybe make your own music too, right? Oh yeah, and like uh, for instance, oh hello here. Elijah and Henny, welcome in. Yeah, welcome. Henny. Um, I like like as far as drums go, because because you're gonna do this thing. Like if you if you produce music, you might realize that certain elements, like you emphasize a lot more than others. Like for me. Mm -hmm. I like the kick to hit hard, but I'm a lot like more focused on what the snare does. Mm, I just yeah, like the yeah. snap, the sound of a snare. Yeah. You know. So there's so probably more influence. More there's probably more influence or like more like a like a, a different timbre or a different quality of sound in the snare when you're working on something than someone else's, for example. Like someone else's. Oh yeah, because I'm super influenced by. Uh, 80s like new wave and stuff yeah yeah, yeah. and that snappy uh gated snare the, yeah, the gated like snare. that everybody's using <laughs> i love it <laughs> you hate it did you say you hate gated? the hated snare oh you hated snare <laughs> <laughs> the snare is the worst drum Henny how says, can anybody like that <laughs> and he says uh my partner dead ass got good at drumming from rock band the video game <laughs> Hey, it works, right? You know what? It only <laughs> works for drumming. It doesn't work for the other instruments. Oh yeah, not at all. But but it does work for drumming uh, because I'm... in the expert modes, like when you're playing the high difficulties, it's actually not that yeah. different from what you actually would be doing in a real drum kit. Oh yeah, it matches up. Like the only difference is like 
you're gonna have to get used to having a big thing in front of you, right? It's a full yeah. set. Okay, like, you, re you ready for the show? <laughs> it's like, are you ready for the show? It's like, yeah, okay. And then it's like, what? This set is way too big. <laughs> the set's way too big, man. He, it you're even playing have on triggers. A rim triggers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this 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 foot pedal man is way too big. That's like a full human foot. What the hell? Why does it have a chain? <laughs> Dude, they're not even color coded. How am I super to know? pissed? <laughs> I just like when the guitar goes brr. I mean, I I'm a fan of guitar as well, but I've worked with I've worked with a lot of guitarists where like I don't know, like you know, there's like there's LSD, there's lead singer disease, but there's also lead guitarist disease, man. Just something about that instrument attracts people to be sometimes, um, not everybody, to be a little full of themselves. Um, Gear Knox, yes, in my songs, uh, the drums are a bit louder uh, than the melody. I I mean, I get that. You want them to hit. I don't even know what Pokemon. What, what was the Pokemon? Ah, we're not changing, we're fine. But yeah, I know, I, I know what you mean, like, um, like the influences you have definitely like will affect even individual aspects of your music. Mm -hmm. um, Henny saying, on the other hand, as a bassist, I was able to shred in rock band pretty quickly, but it does not go the other way around. Oh yeah. Oh and uh, yeah, if you want dr good drums and strings, please listen to Venetian Snares, Roz, Silag, Alat, Zulitet, and I know it very well actually. Um, Penny. I uh, listened to it when it first came out. Big, big fan. Venetian Snares is a uh, artist from Winnipeg, also Canadian artist. Um, oh, by the name of uh, Aaron Funk, and he does breakcore stuff. So he does stuff like very similar to like Aphex Twin, um, but also a lot of really crazy like kind of drumming, like mixed like in, blast like, beats? like glitchy, but not blast beats because blast beats are very precise. Um, and That's true. More like, they, they sound more like machine guns, <laughs> but there's like, <laughs> there's like, um, it's used as a texture and it's, it, there's a lot of dynamic mm -hmm. to it, but there's also so much stuff that Venetian Snares has done. Like there's really cool pieces of music that sample like 1970s Sesame Street segments. Oh um, shit. There's interesting, um, there's like a, a false movie soundtrack that Venetian Snares put together. Like my life, a soundtrack or something cool. like that. Like they conceived like of an idea if they were gonna compose their own soundtrack to a movie. It was cool. Um, they've done a lot of really cool stuff, and I think they like to me they sound. There's some albums that sound almost identical to like Apex Twin, but the drumming really makes it stand out. It's just interesting to see everyone's individual creative output musically like that. Like oh, when there's yeah. overlap, like, even and, in the of case other artists, where... but there's something that makes them stand out. Like one, one thing that changes it a little bit it's kind of like weird. even if it's a snare you know, yeah like... totally totally or just a texture like there maybe there's a texture that you like using and your music does mm -hmm. kind of sound like another artist but that texture is like the thing you're known for like uh like kawaii future base artists always using yoshi samples <laughs> exactly <laughs> just always using yoshi samples <laughs> Like, it doesn't matter if it... I've never heard one of them use the grunting one, though, and I would love that. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. They always use, like, the wah, but they never use the you hing. Should use it. I should, I should. I should make, like, ugly kawaii future bass. Yeah. It's just, like, all the awkward moments. Oh, there's so many, like, uh, Yoshi sound effects you can use. Oh, yeah, that aren't just, like, the wah. Yeah. Uh, spe speaking of which, which just blows my mind, uh, did you know that Kazumi Totaka is the voice of Yoshi? And also Professor Egad and also Captain Toad? And also did the music yeah. for Yoshi's Story, Animal Crossing, Luigi's Mansion, like <laughs> everyone. But it blows my mind that he's the voice of Yoshi. Like, that and, and Egad. It just seems like such a funny... That movie. is wild, right? It's like, like somebody some... who does what? completely something else. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, he's done sound design for retro, like for, you know, Mario Paint yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. So he's got a lot of experience, like, doing sound design in general. So obviously, what's a tool that you have as a sound designer? It's like your your own voice, and if you can do it, it's just, like... Do it's it. It's just more impressive, like... Oh, yeah, like, it's always more impressive when an individual, like, does all the sounds, all the... Like, for example... 
example, like uh, Reggie Watts. Yeah, yeah, is totally. a good example of a musician where like everything is looping and mostly his voice, right? Yeah, yeah. like, and he does it all improv on the spot for the most part. But then again, once you do improv so long, it's not really improv at that point, is it? It's just like a, a reaction, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, Gira Noxa, yeah, definitely. We should all talk more about music. Ooh, without a doubt, I love it. Dodrio using arrow blast on me. Get me out of here. I don't even know. I'm I'm in the town. Oh, okay, I'm still I'm still facing. There's just one more train in here. Okay, I I'm, I'm just checking dangerous. flowers and stuff. There's uh, Team Aqua's here being Team Aqua. I think I'm just gonna take a quick quick break just to use the washroom once we clear this. Uh, All right, Dodrio. I'll do. I'll probably do the same then. Oh, uh, what, what, what are the? I, so I, I read through. the sign. I, I just I wanted to make sure I, I didn't die from that Dodrio. No, no, no. Yes. Which is good because that means it's kind of good that that Dodrio is like as powerful as it is because we have a Do Duo. We'll get there eventually, and we have all the same move sets. Arrow Blast. Our uh, rivals up here. I didn't run into him, but he's in front of this big building, oh, which is either a mall or something else. No, I think we're gonna have to fight. Maybe I think we're gonna have to fight oh, the rival God. for sure. But we should just go heal first if we can. If it lets us. Uh, I have healed up. Okay. Uh, we have Pigman Carl is now a Grump Pig. Oh, nice. Heck yeah. So what level was it? Was 32? 32. Nice. Yeah, it was 32. Yeah, it couldn't. It can't have been like more than that because that'd be crazy. Oh yeah. To have to wait that long. Grump Pig's not even like. I mean, give me an evolution in Grump Pig, and then we'll talk. Yeah, like an even... An older one called Grandpig. Oh, let's Grand look Pig. at this one. <laughs> Grandpig. Yeah, Grandpig. Hmm. I don't know how to change this one. But I can tell you how to change uh, a Sizor. I can tell you how to change that one. All right. Uh, I guess washroom break. Yeah, folks. let's do that. I'll be right, right back. Very I'll be right back, too. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. All right, we'll be right back.
I have returned. All right. I don't know if Moon is back yet, but I am back. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. Uh, welcome in everybody who's new. Um, and of course, got some wonderful regulars. Elliot was here, Elijah, Henny. Always appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, we, we have some, we've had some off weeks, of course, and like we're doing this on Thursday instead of Wednesday. But you know, it's the time we had. I know things are just getting busy for everybody as uh, we're in the middle of summer, and then like some of this, you know, COVID stuff is getting better, not better. Don't know yet, but um, you know, people are getting busier. I've been spending a lot of time working on music uh we've just been talking about music a lot during the stream which is really awesome uh as music uh musicians uh music producers uh we like to talk about that kind of stuff we really appreciate it so if you enjoy that thank you for you know chiming in and talking about what you do as well always love to hear people's projects i'm kind of like i'm pseudo rambling because I, I, re I really like to talk about these things and such and sometimes it's difficult because you know we got to go back and forth and we're still trying to accomplish a goal here we're still trying to do this soul link nuzlocke and if you don't know what that is it means that our encounters on the same route are connected to one another and uh if one of them dies the other person's pokemon dies as well because this is a nuzlocke so once a pokemon fates they're gone forever um just going to give you a really quick example. For example, uh, here I have Epical Man, which is a Magneton that is attached to uh, number 42, which is a Magneton on uh, Moonsight. So if my Epical Man dies, so does number 42. And the weird thing about us having a lot of pairings that are similar is simply because we had a collection of, I don't know if it was like 10 or 20 seeds that I made that... Um, we were going to go back and forth, you know, we were going to let the chat decide and stuff. And we had some ones that were different that we did. But the third one, uh, chat ended up picking the same number. So we're actually on the same seed. So a lot of the encounters and situations we're in are fairly similar. Although there have been some weird programming things where we do encounter slightly different Pokemon. And uh, we have trainer battles with slightly different Pokemon. But it doesn't happen very often. So... Right now, we have beaten the 6th Gym Leader. We just got to Lily Cove. We might have to do a rival battle here, which I'll be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not looking forward to. Moon is back. Yeah, I was just uh, doing a rundown. Thank you, everybody. We're doing um, playing some old stream from a different right location now. here. I'm, I'm house-sitting and dog-sitting with my partner at her parents' house. Um, oh, OK. So you know, the internet's going really well, which is great. And That's and awesome. So it looks like my partner is going to be making banana pancakes, which is super nice. Making bacon pan? No. Okay. <laughs> exactly. We don't go into that one. <laughs> banana pancakes. Um. So <laughs> Make it... in this town, <laughs> to in, say that. in Lily Cove, the first thing I got to do is heal. Yes. Yes. Have you done any also, exploration at all? Is there anything I should like? Any items or people we should I, talk to? I've talked to a few people, but I haven't really seen much. There's a. Uh, Pokemon um, fan club, which I, I don't know if maybe there's something in here. I'm gonna check. Usually there's like um, one thing. One or two things in per city or something. Yeah, well, like you get something from Pokemon fan club. You get the bike voucher in generation one. You get something in generation two. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, Giranoxa says they're playing a changed red edition. Really funny so far. What's the is you're playing a ROM hack of it? Yeah, there's lots of really cool ROM hacks of Fire Red. I was playing one called Orange Islands, which is four gyms and actually follows the anime like right after the Indigo League. But I think Pokemon mm -hmm. Fire Fire Red and Leaf Green. There's there's some of the best Pokemon games, including the third gen. So it makes sense. There's lots of different oh, yeah. versions of it. Uh, there's nothing in the fan club. It's just a lot of talking and nothing. A whole lot of talking. A lot of talking, a whole lot of nothing. Yikes. I almost have a full hell box, by the way. But yeah, I think we have like five Pokemon left in it. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. So those are all the Pokemon that have passed away at this point. Uh, let's see. Ooh, is this the is this the place where we start going under like we actually use the submarine or whatnot? Oh yeah, yeah. Eventually or... we will. I think we have to go to Mount Pyre for that. Yes. We're gonna get dive as well. There's gonna be a few things. See, this is this is kind of uh, stuff that there's like a chunk of Pokemon Emerald that I just don't commit to memory, and this is the kind of the new stuff. So it feels a little bit fresh. 
Yeah. Like, I, like, I don't know, I, I just remember more of the earlier parts of the game, if that makes sense. Where's this, uh, rival? Uh, up north, like, there's a... There's a staircase to the right of, like, the Poké Center in that area. And is there a mart in this town? That might be the mart, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm being taught about polka blocks. I don't know if I, I don't think this is important. Why did I do this to myself? Did you go into the into the Pokemon contest hall? No, there's a there's a house next to it that there's a a, a woman who says that I'm a polka block master. Do not say that you want to learn. <laughs> it's funny you said that. I literally I just was talking to her as you said that. You're like, do not <laughs> do not say yes. Don't you say. You saved me. I was like, okay. <laughs> um, I think if we go in the Poka content. Oh no, you know what? Maybe we'll get it from our rival after we're done talking to them. Like it could oh, be, a, yeah, could be like here, try these, try this thing. Here, try these. This uh, this Pokemon Pez dispenser. I want a Pokemon because that's like, that's essentially what it is, right? Yeah, totally. Hey, down in. No, front, I'm not buying any people. dolls. Oh, yep, we're battling. Wait. He's not gonna lose to me, he says. Who, the rival? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, he got a dugong. Um. Oh, I got, I got something to deal with dugong. Did, did you uh, take on the rival, this or is this another random trainer? No, it's I took on the rival. Ooh, and there's a smoke ball at the very south of town. We've got a dugong with rain dance. And I don't care. Wait, are our rivals different? I can't remember. I think that we I thought, thought our rivals were, were at some point. I think they actually I think I think they, I think they are because I'm playing as Brendan and so my rival is yes, May that's you're right. playing as May. And so they in, would naturally in be different. Emerald, they actually do have differently coded teams. Like they have unique teams, so that makes sense. Okay. So we can't strat this one. Not fully, no. Don't go near the cave in the cove. You don't need a reason. The cave why. in the I'm cove. A, I'm an adult, dude. That's chill, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. Okay. Let's see. Three up. Are you shopping too? They also have different dialogue too, Brendan and me. Yeah, but well, Brendan just says, like, like, I ain't gonna lose to you. Yeah, Brendan's a I don't dick. buy dolls. And then uh, <laughs> May's like, I really hope you do well on your Pokemon journey. That's funny. Yeah, basically. That, that's what that's what I'm in for. I have to listen to this guy. Oh, you know what? To I'm, be... I'm beating Hound Dooms with Bubble Beam, though. That feels pretty good. To be uh, very fair, the game gives you the option to say yes or no to the battle. It doesn't do that with all the rival battles, but it's nice that they do that here. Cause it just makes it so that you like can like avoid the uh, the fight for the second, right? You can go and do something. Yeah, like you still can't get into this building, but yeah. yeah. Flaffy level thirty-one. Oh, fucking Golbat. Um, well, we gotta send out uh, our own electric. That's kind of our only option. Don't have any ground moves or anything like that. Flaffy's got thunder punch. <laughs> That's all you need is Thunder Punch. I need Thunder Bolt. Oh, ha. Your Sludge Bomb doesn't affect me, Golbat. I'm made of steel. Oh, Flame Wheel does, though. <laughs> Flame Wheel does. So I'm using... I'm also using Magneton. It's funny, we're both using Magneton at the same time. Oh shit! That sound effect won't stop. The rain, the rain won't stop. What I hope you? that it it stops right now. That that rain sound effect won't stop. So I'm hoping once we win the battle, it'll cancel everything. If not, we're, I'm gonna have to save and restart. Oh, I'm no. sorry. <laughs> Damn! It won't stop. <laughs> Weird. I guess I guess uh, Dugong's rain dance is eternal. <laughs> nice. Sounds like a band name. 
Dugong's Eternal Rain Dance. Yeah, <laughs> or or like a a, a movie. Or Dird, D E R D for short. Dugong's Eternal Rain yeah, Dance. Yeah, Dird. <laughs> Please. Please. Stop. Um, isn't Dugong a real thing? D U G O N G? Isn't that a real <laughs> stop. a real creature? Yeah, yeah, like a uh like a manatee. Yeah. D U G O N G. Dugong. Oh, I have to just restart, folks. I'm sorry. Run, okay, the run I'm gonna save over. it and you restart the game. That that means a forfeit. That means I win. <laughs> I win the. <laughs> like it was a race. I, I win. I win the, the co-op. <laughs> I win the co-op. We were working together, but not really. That's fine. All right, I gotta I gotta close it real quick. Yeah, no worries. Oh my god. Is it done? <laughs> it's Hydro done. Cannon. Okay. I'm gonna reopen it because wow. uh, that level, was wild. Level 32 Kabuto. So definitely different team, different teams for sure. Oh yeah, I had a Dugong, a Golbat. I've um, got Kabuto, Tropius. Oh god, Tropius is scary. Yeah, I'm gonna send out Mace. <gasps> Tropius is actually a really great Pokemon. I've, I'm always looking for it in randomizers. It's Grass Flying. I think that's okay. a great combination. All right, we beat him. Because you can resist uh, electricity. It no longer yeah. rains down in Africa. Nice. And we're doing better. I think, I'm pretty sure grass resists electric just a little bit. I think so. Oh, can, I think it so. It can body some of the hits, because I remember like Bulbasaur being able to body electric moves. And um, yeah, so especially that, during it, the... Uh... It, it helps for the weakness of like electric for flying. However, grass flying, ultra weak to ice. So you got to be extra yes. careful. But still pretty decent. Um, ground is ground strong against grass, or grass is strong against ground? One of the two. I think grass is strong uh, against ground. I think grass is strong against ground. Yeah. Which logically makes sense because grass grows on top of the ground, so it can overtake it. Like it's weird to think about like why some of the typings work. They work the way they do. Yeah. Well, and as soon as we as soon as we play uh, Pokemon Sweet, it's gonna be a whole other thing because it's like. Because obviously, logically, strawberry is like more, you know. It's like <laughs> yeah, that, it's, we're, it's gonna, stronger we're than gonna debate it. Like, it's well, because of course, chocolate beats strawberry. It coats it. Yeah. <laughs> like duh, that's why chocolate beats cherry too. That's amazing. <laughs> and that's also why three F beats May. Exactly. <laughs> we won. Well. Of course everything beats vanilla because everything's better <laughs> inside of my... Vanilla's gonna be the new normal type, isn't it? Uh, vanilla is normal type, but also like it's not just like a, a reskin. So it, it, I'm, I'm excited to dive into it because it's got all new like original maps and towns and stuff. Okay, so I'm, there's a I'm, museum I'm, here. I'm hyped. And then... Is this, that what this is? That's the department store. So that is the mark. You're right. It's like oh, hell yeah. Up. Yeah, let's see what's up in here. I'm buying something for my Azumarill as a reward for winning a contest. What do we got? What do we got? Pokemon Lottery Corner? <laughs> just like in... Uh, I just did the lottery. In gold and silver. I doubt. Yeah, hell yeah. Except it's spelled L-O-T-O. That's weird. What do you mean I didn't win the lottery? It's in my favor all the time. Well, we have a lot of dead Pokemon. It's going to search the PC for to see if we, we can... Exactly. Them. So we got a lot of dead Pokemon. We have to have all the numbers by now. That's fine. I always like right, that, which that floor uh, is feature which? in Goldenrod, the lottery, when they first introduced it. They, they added a lot of really, really cool features from uh, like going to gold, silver, and crystal. They still oh, remain yeah. some of my favorite games. I don't need any Pokeballs. I have a Master Ball. I'm ready for whatever choice encounter I want. Wow, Hyper Potions are available. Don't need them, though. We don't oh, need the yes. 200 yet. No. I have an that's Energy a little, Root. That's a little my, too much. In my uh, inventory as well. Which is nice. I have so much money. I don't know what to do with it. I just want to see, because we're going to probably be able to buy TMs here. That's oh, yeah, that's right. And Ultra Ball, I'm definitely going to buy a few of those. Great balls, 
I have 42 great balls. I can't. I can't buy it. Damn. <laughs> we need to keep that number. Okay, the next floor has the X guard stuff and. Oh, yeah, so the most useless. Ooh, it has thing. the protein, calcium, iron stuff. We gotta get a lot of zinc to. We need to basically pump our, uh, uh, Cedrus just full of zinc. Oh. Here, special defense. Eat all the zinc. I'm gonna buy two. No, that's crazy. You're gonna buy some? They're so expensive. So I no, they're so expensive. It's not worth it. And we're gonna need stuff later, right? We we'll can probably just get to that point. Like, I'm just gonna send out Typhlosion in those cases because he's got he's exactly. Got, uh, he can body them. The the special attacks. Oh, TMs. Yes, that's what we're looking for because they're gonna be randomized, and the TM compatibility is randomized as well. So let's see what we get. Um, Does it uh, tell us we more? got. Ooh. Oh, it, it doesn't just... say the move. Okay, so TM17 adds the user and foe's HP, then shares them. That's uh, pain split. That sounds terrible. It divides divides um, our, our health. It it can it can be useful if you're like down to the red, and your opponent has yeah. a bunch of health, and then you can give yourself an extra boost of healing. But we, I mean, just use a super. We got a a weather restoring. Restores HP. The amount of varies with the weather. Um, attacks with sharp fangs may cause flinching. I think that's just bite, or it's just like the regular one. If it's bite, uh, that's it's not, not bad, dark or anything. We do have uh, no, because it, it is dark type in this. Oh really? Because this one, this one's showing the disc is normal. I thought crunch was dark. Oh, um, <clears throat> interesting. Um, I think that's just bite, right? So the first one, the first one has uh, to be uh, morning sun. Um, which I already have. The second one... Jumping knee kick. Jumping knee kick, if it misses, a, that, that's high jump kick. Ooh. A fiery charge attack that may inflict burn. I'm gonna buy this one. Yeah, that's gotta be flamethrower. So my guess is flamethrower, and then that's high jump kick. I think I'm gonna buy a high jump kick. Because we don't have any fighting type moves. Um, and then what else do we have on the other side? The other side, it's all 3,000, so we've got Pain Split, then senses the foe's action to ensure the next moves. Uh, Ooh, is this Solar Beam? That's gotta beam, be Solar Beam. Beam Attack. Ooh. Oh, that may confuse Signal Beam. Yes! Is it? I'll take two. <laughs> it's gotta be Signal Beam. Um, um, That's Signal, signal beam. beam for the win. Oh, that, yeah. That was, that We're bringing this move, move was, folks. That uh, was Pincer's, like, go-to. And held, held us in... Like, uh, oh yeah for a while like if that makes sense it did really well for a long time like absorbs light in one turn and then attacks the next turn that's so hmm. okay it's flame wheel 15 is flame wheel oh okay not as cool not <laughs> definitely not as cool but it works well let's take a look at the tms Yep, signal beam. Oh Who shit. Magneton, Cubone, and Cedra can learn signal beam. I'm teaching it to Mew because we have one empty slot. So now we have agility, oh, signal beam, confusion, psychic. That's a pretty good moveset, actually. That is a pretty good moveset. Um. Um. Let me see what we got here. Oh, nobody has fly on my team, so I should teach it to a little pump. What do you think about getting rid of clamp for signal beam? That sounds about right. Oh, yeah. Clamp is not great. It's broken in It's general. not. I've been playing, I think we mentioned this before, but I've been playing um, Pokemon Stadium 1 on stream, and certain moves, like, in that, and obviously the original Game Boy versions, are broken. Like, wrap, clamp, yeah. bind, or not bind, bind. Um, fire spin if you get caught in them you actually can't attack but in every other pokemon game after that like you can still attack if, if those moves are used on you but you can actually like lock an opponent in with clamp and slow and then kill away. them right with yeah. the and they, they can yeah. never attack like they can never attack you so it's kind of a <clears throat> just a broken thing in general 
All right, this is nice. Right, People nice. are getting moves. Yeah, this is. <clears throat> it's always good to visit the department store in Pokemon game. Cause, cause oh yeah, these, especially with these moments. Are, are these these have been randomized too? Then right? Oh yeah. Because they they they're considered TM slots, right? Yeah, totally. They're all they're all shuffled. You would normally get these ones. Like you would normally get Signal Beam or Flame Wheel. Because Flame Wheel is actually, uh, <clears throat> I think, was introduced in Gen 2 and is actually supposed to be mm -hmm. like one of the signature moves of Cyndaquil Typhlosion. That makes sense. And Mace can learn it, so I'm going to teach it. It does 60. <sighs> Alright, we're just doing a yeah. ton of uh, I think we'll get rid of uh, TM learning control. here. Jeff Bezos can also learn <laughs> Flame Wheel and so can Geppetto. <clears throat> oh, nice. What? Nugget can learn Flame Wheel? Yeah. Cedra? Mm -hmm. Which you is said kind of Geppetto, good... right? Yeah, Geppetto. Yeah. So Cedra can learn it, So, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> yeah. It gives you uh, some good versatility, but I might buy another one. I'll probably buy another one. Let's not... I'm not going to lie, folks. I'm going to buy another one. I um I used flame wheel on mace, which probably wasn't a good idea, because we already had good moves, but that's fine. High jump kick, Lil Pump, Bezos, and Mace can learn it. I'm gonna teach it to Lil Pump. Hmm. Just the idea of uh, a do duo doing high jump kick, flying. <laughs> yeah, flying. <laughs> I mean it could. It's essentially a two headed ostrich, right? It does, uh, it does fly in Pokemon Stadium 1. Like, it can actually, like, float up into the air. It's pretty funny. That is pretty cool. See it. Alright, this is, this is obnoxious, the moves that our Pokemon have right now. Yeah, that's, that's nice and loaded up. I'm gonna... I love how Nugget can't learn uh, Dragon Breath. I think. All right. I think uh, Cedra can actually learn Dragon Breath or Kingdra in um, like the vanilla game. <clears throat> that makes sense. I think that might be you the know, only it's one. Like, type, that right? and Twister might be the only two Dragon moves it can learn. I think. Not too many. I'm very familiar with it. I know that it can learn Twister without a doubt. Ooh, I think this is all just uh, items, right? These are all just... Yeah. And uh, I already have the healing items I need. So I'm not gonna... Unless, is there something at the very top? That happens? It's the, uh, it's a secret base stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let's just head out here. Um, I'm gonna just double check the town real quick. And there's, right. gotta, I'm going there's to... gotta be a way we can get a Pokemon in Lily Coast. Is that possible? Like a trade? Or, yeah, uh, or or just something. <clears throat> oh, there's the move deleter point. house. Yeah, and then next to that is this house. Old dude with the kek with the kekleon. Uh, the kekleon. <laughs> not gonna say it the same way. I like each time it's gonna be different. Old dude. <clears throat> when it gets right down to it, the same way suits me. He just gives us a berry. He's like, he's like, I look good in this suit. Here's a berry, man. Cause you're a trainer, and I'm like, uh, I'm an old man in a suit. Didn't know if there was a hidden item up here, but I don't think there is. It's a house. Oh, I see. I think this is how we get around the. Ooh, TM44. If you go into that beach house. And what is it? Is it is it something we can use or? Megahorn, hell yes. Amazing. Who can learn Megahorn? <clears throat> oh shit! Soy sauce. Yes. Hell yes. Okay, we're teaching Megahorn oh, to yeah. our slow bro. Slowly but surely, everybody's gonna become a bug Pokemon. Okay, new slow bro move set: Surf. Luster Purge, Megahorn, Swords Dance. Oh shit. <laughs> Don't mess with that stuff. Swords Dance, Megahorn. 
Hmm. <clears throat> Where do I want to? I mean, I might. I honestly might have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Slow bro, do that as well. It just it does a lot. It's eighty five percent accuracy, so it's not that bad, considering. Yeah. I always liked Megahorn as a, a move. Hmm. I had a, a, a Mewtwo use Megahorn on me in Pokemon Stadium. Too. Wrecked. <laughs> just, just wreck everything. It destroyed. Yeah, it was really funny. Uh, what was this old guy have to say? You know the peculiar cabin hmm. in this cove. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hold on to this for now. Okay. On the beach. I think one of these rocks has an item in it. Yeah, it's a kelp sea berry, which is pointless. Gonna grab it anyways, cause you can. Um, what else? Uh, glitter mail. Boring. Um, yeah, we can we can turn that off for a future seed too. There's ways to turn off like <laughs> kind of useless items. If that makes sense. Useless items, yeah. Man, there's a lot of... I forgot how cool this area is. There's a lot going on. Actually, you know, the Kelpsy, oh. the Kelpsy Berry is actually good. You can just... What does it, it do? To, uh, like, um, basically, you can... It, it, what they do it just makes the Pokemon friendlier. Oh, but, but I see, I see. The stat. Uh, there's another rock up there that gives you an upgrade, a Peculiar box mm. made by Silph. What? What is it? Upgrade is the only oh, way that for, for to evolve Porygon too. Porygon. Yeah. Mm. So if you if okay. you have uh, normally you have to trade it with upgrade, but in this, if we had a Porygon, then you would just level it up. With that. I see. I see. <laughs> eh, we might as well go talk to that guy. Okay, a guy training whale mers. There is a, we can actually fish here, and it's the Lily, Lily encounter. Oh, should we do that? <clears throat> yeah, or we can uh, surf. Oh, we can surf then. But we don't, we don't have to <clears throat> go too far. All right, let's get this encounter, folks. But just don't go to the whale mers yet. I don't think. All right. Because there's gonna be some whale mers up there. There should be wild Pokemon here. There we go. Oh, there's definitely Whalemers. There's probably not any Whalemers <laughs> wow, in the ocean, though. Level 22 Ooh. Salamence. Fully evolved Dragonfly. Ooh, you gotta get that. Oh, shit. Uh, one second, I'm actually well, just gonna grab a pen real quick. Okay, mine's a gold duck. Gold duck. <laughs> Very different. Another, what, psychic water type? Yeah. I think it's psychic water. Here, just one second. All right. Oh, I didn't figure that would work. Water. I just wanted to uh, All right. to write down because we've got Mew and Kubo. All right. Oh, okay. Pairings and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. I just want to keep track of them. Um, and then this one could be Salamence. And, All right. And yours was what again? Uh, Gold Duck. Got Golduck. the Gold Duck. Nice, nice. Okay, let's give this a shot. Salamence has Intimidate. Did you just throw a couple ultra balls? Great was... balls. Ooh, yeah, just it. a couple great balls. But I mean, I had I wasn't in danger because of uh, Cedra, mm. so it was just waiting game, right? So, uh, what's next on this list? I think it's Oh No Oh No. Yeah, Oh No Oh No. That's what I got as well. Um, you can basically, uh, if you do want to name a Pokemon, you can redeem the name uh, Pokemon. 
redeem in both my channel or Rathay's channel. Mm -hmm. And all of our Pokemon have been named by the chat. We both have one. Alright, oh no, oh no. Salamance used Feather Dance. Come on. Alright, it was play I gotta go I gotta go take it out of hell though. Um, I'm gonna head back to the box and Surf. Surf Surf should have come. Oh it has fly. It has fly. No, it has bounce. Oh bounce, okay. Isn't that also what happens for one of the sky attacks, like the or sky attack. I can't remember which move it is, but oh, it has a really. No. You're gonna have to leave that thing in hell, because apparently soy sauce was stronger <laughs> than I thought and surfed him straight back All into, right, the, into I... the water. Okay, you know what that means. <laughs> gotta, you gotta bury. I can't it. Grave. So, <laughs> 54 poker graves. Wow. Well, I'm just gonna leave that there. Bezos <laughs> grew to level 30 and wants to learn Leer. Oh yeah, get rid of psychic. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Get... <laughs> nope. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, that sucks. No Salamence. No, no it, duck. That oh. would have been. That would have definitely been a strong addition, though. Yeah. Oh, for both of our teams, because Gold, Golduck's another one that I feel like, like Firo and Primeape, is a little underrated. All right. Uh, I just grabbed the Pokeball case. Uh, in the from the counter contest at the uh, contest. Yeah, because I'm thinking we should just go get the, the Safari, um, zone. Safari Zone before we forget. And I also didn't do some of the trainer. Uh, I didn't do some of the fights over here because uh, I just really wanted to get back to a Poké Center. Oh, totally. Feel free to do, to dive in. Okay, I'm gonna move I'm over just, there. And... I'm just diving into the, the Pokemon contest hall right now. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. I still gotta fight that Breeder, but you said that that was like six level 25s. Yeah. yeah. And they weren't too bad. It was like Togepi, Porygon, Numel, Puchiena, Bayleaf, um, and something else, but it, they weren't like crazy. I didn't figure. Got it. Got the Pokemon. Okay, I didn't even know she was a. Didn't even know she was a trainer. It's wonderful how some trainers like change their position and look at you, and other ones just like stand there. Mm -hmm. Oh no, she's got a hit on top. Uh, also, folks, let me know if you need more game audio too. Like, it seems like it was really low, so. Uh, just let me know. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't figure that would be very effective. If you need more or less. Okay, we're healing up. That hit kind of hard. That hit harder than I thought. So yeah, I think I've done all the all the trainers now. Already. Oh, you, you completed all of them? Yeah, okay. on, on, on the way. I think I've got... Time. I think I've got, like, three, maybe four that I gotta do. Ooh, Wild Gyarados. Cool. Oh, that, that would've been nice. nice. Yeah. Even though at this point, um... The, uh... Amount of, uh, water Pokemon we've gotten have been pernicious. Well, we only have a team right now, but we have had a bunch. We've actually... Like, yeah. that's the thing about the Nuzlocke Challenge. Like, we've actually had a bunch of great moves. Like, uh, or we've had a little bit of good oh, like, yeah. picks. It's just that we haven't been able to keep the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the thing is, you got folks, you got like, actually, you gotta keep the Pokemon alive, because if you don't, then, then, then you can't play the game, and then it's good loose. Yeah. Okay. Like, twist to the, uh. Oh, shit. Jeffrey's evolving. Nice. Your Mew's evolving. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, uh, Mew Bone. <laughs> nice. It's the Marowak time. Yes. Wow, it's very aggressive. It's uh, it's it's, <laughs> it's handing that bone too. So when do you normally uh, 
take a break? Like when when do you want to take a break? Five. At five. So what's that? Like yeah. In thirty kind of thing. Uh, right now it's forty-five minutes. Cool. cool. So you need to break before that. I might suggest just so I can eat with my partner real real quick. Oh, okay. Um, how how is it already done? Whoop, whoop. Is my emulator freezing? Is my emulator freezing? Emulator's freezing? It happens sometimes. That's not good. But yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be down to take a break like in in like 10 or something. Like we can do the safari okay. zone encounter and then maybe just take a break then uh, if you're down. Oh, I, I know what I can do. You can take your break, right? Oh yeah. We'll just... um, and then I'll go through these trainers, right? Yeah. Um, while you're gone and then I'll probably do the safari zone stuff and I can take my 15 minute on the time I do yeah but you can always go get the the um uh you can go get the safari counter and stuff yeah totally so I'll just I'll just leave this here where I'm at and then I'll be back very shortly okay and then I'll do the style beef and then yeah. uh we did that a five, five few yeah parts, I think that worked all right, sounds good. Yeah, uh, cool. Um, I'll right, be right uh, back, and I'm just where I left off is I'm just like about to take on the safari zone. Like, when I back, so. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just taking on these trainers. Yeah, yeah. Good luck with the reader. Oh yeah, exactly. Okay, I'll be right back. It, we'll, uh, I hope there will be no deaths while you're gone. Garrinox, a two-handed is always better uh, as uh, one hand than one hand in Dark Souls. Yeah, I, I mean, for the most part. Um, I do side sword and the stop stuff. There's some pretty cool handed weapons, but yeah, you go in with an ultra great sword. That's always fun. I think they call. Uh, I learned uh, just months ago about like the build called like Giant Dad or something, where you wear giant's armor, and then you have like a. Uh, I can't remember which of the great swords is. It's not the game more. I think it's my hander. It's my hander, giant's armor and stuff, and like Havel's ring, all that stuff. <laughs> giant dad and then you have the father's mask that's what makes it the dad part right but then you gotta have the actual father's uh mask drop right good old giant dad exactly i i i started one of the runs on stream but uh, i i didn't get through it because uh, i just got distracted by stuff but uh, that reminds me i really need to go back to um Souls. i love that game it's a lot of fun another view other day I had beat him just once. <laughs> I think uh, I've played I've played the Dark Souls series so much. I've beaten it so much. I I need to even like it's one of those games where even off stream I need to just like sit down and go through the whole thing and like remind myself of the lore because I really enjoy that. Like it, it's such a great story. Like, I need to read all the stuff to actually like understand what's going on. My sweater uses flame wheel. It makes no sense. That's the weird thing, though. I wonder why if Muse just giving us not. Thank you, Dreamer, for the hydrate and the bug fact. And the hair flip. Let me look at your soul. Thank you so much for that hair flip. As for the bug fact, Dreamer, did you know that the reason why yellow jackets usually end up bothering us more in the fall time? The, the, the very late summer and fall time like at picnics and stuff and like around your pop cans is actually because the social structure of the nest is breaking down at that point it usually tends to happen um, in late summer where like the the goals that have met and then the cycle is going to continue and then more on it and they're out or looking for food because flowers and nectar and stuff are not readily available in the fall as much as they were in the summertime so that's actually the odd reason why um, yellow jacket are more present in the late summer, early fall. It's just because they have nowhere to go and there's not much food source. A thousand hours of DS1 Bloodborne. Oh, Bloodborne's so damn good. That's my favorite. Back to baby. Just want to check and let you guys know you're doing great. Thank you so much, Dreamer. I hope everything's going well. I hope you're getting rest. I, I hope uh, your child is healthy and everything's going well. Thank you for stopping by and dropping all that. Uh, Moon is on a uh, dinner break right now. Or a late lunch break, I'm not sure. Alright, we know how to bubble beam the new mole, and the new mole will die. I think at this point, if I recall correctly, 
We're probably gonna need like Pokemon that are level 60 or something to be able to manage the Elite Four. I can't remember. I think they're like mid to late 50s. But yeah, we're we're changing. I think I think that's what the Elite Four usually is. Pretty pretty high up there, but not like impossible. So like not in the 60s onward or whatnot. Uh, flaffy, flaffy, flaffy. I feel like this should work. I don't think ground type can do it. Like, uh, lightning can do anything to ground type, being ridiculous. I'm gonna try it though. Oh yeah, I was right. I was right. That makes sense. Might as well get a full fledged fight in, right? There, look at that experience. Um, Togepi is what, normal type? Uh, I might just change because I'm frightened of the idea of losing any of the new Pokemon. And by that I mean just Jeffrey at this point. Um, hmm. Everybody's kind of 36, 37. There's Pigman. Maybe we'll use Pigman Carl. Let's do that. Uh, i never seen combat. Cause he's just been kind of sitting in the wings getting experience not doing anything oh toga p i hope this does it feather dance just two heavy hitting moves So right now we're just cleaning up uh, some trainers that I didn't do uh, in the meantime while Moon is out eating. And then I will take my break in like 40 minutes or so. Oh, oh I, I didn't even see what the Pokemon was. I was just explaining stuff to you. Um, Gligar. Hmm. I think we need uh I'll risk it. I'll do I'll do one side beam and see how this goes. That was pretty good. What of course. Please do not please calm down. Okay. Never mind. We're good. <laughs> I'm just I it puts me on edge these does locks. It's been a little while since I did my randomized fire red type based does lock. We're gonna have to get back into that. But uh they are always anxiety inducing. Raiko, isn't that, isn't that the... Yes, we're gonna change Pokemon. I think that's the uh, legendary second gen dog Pokemon, right? Yes, the very weird one. I thought this was a very weird design. I don't know how everybody else, like, th what everybody else thinks, but like, I think Suicune is the best looking one. Entei's all right, but I think that Raikou is just a little weird on the design. It's just like they put like, I think they had like four other ideas for the dogs and they just shoved it into one. 
and that's why we have Raiko. Oh gods. This might be bad. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Just the anxiety is mounting. Yes, go Jeffrey. Earn your keep. Ooh, that's a lot of experience. Hell yeah. Yeah, we'll just change for this last one, just to be sure. Um, we'll just go with my sweater. Why not? Music's so good in this game. Like, hear those arpeggios? Love it. I had joined your Discord. Now we are better connected. To oh, of course. Of course, Gear Knox. I always love talking about music. Thank you for joining. Definitely appreciate it. Speaking of music, like, uh, I know you say that uh, the drums are, are, are a more powerful force in your music. Do you have a, do you prescribe to a certain genre or genres of music that you make? All right, we might actually go back real quick. Just to heal up, right? Got a little bit of a uh, little bit of waltzy swing in there. Make drum and bass or drum step. Oh, with Vocaloids, that's awesome. I I know a community of individuals who really, really like Vocaloid. Um, and I'm I'm a fan as well. Although I have to say that uh, I'm not familiar with a lot of the new stuff. I think uh, I was really heavily into Vocaloid like early in its conception, and I just haven't listened to much. But uh, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, but I do enjoy some drum and bass good stuff really heavy 100% really heavy hitting stuff oh shit this is another oh could you imagine like if you did hit this double battle like they're both breeders I thought only the one was all right we're just gonna outpower this Puchiana A bay leaf. Uh, yeah. Let's let's uh. This might not be a smart move though. I'm very worried that we'll get countered. I could just go with my sweater and use the flame wheel, right? Oh, but Jeffrey has flame wheel as well. Uh, it's probably better not to risk it. Like getting into the risky situations usually ends up with one of us coming back and being like, "Hey, we lost a Pokemon." And plus, uh, my sweater is almost, almost 38 anyways. So we might as well top off. Oh yeah, those are Pageos, man. I especially love them in this battle theme. And they're really faint too. You gotta listen for it. But the reason it's really faint too is because I kind of got my volume down a little bit here. There we go. Oh, now I can hear it better. is about to use Porygon. Mm, well, we just got that 38th level, so maybe. Okay, 38, 37. These two really need to... Now let's get Pigman Carl out here. We also need to uh, give an item to Pigman Carl. Haven't done that. It, it and I know you didn't ask, but like music that I make, like uh, I've been, I work on a lot of like I, I like new wave a lot. I like dark synth wave. Um, do a lot of absurd stuff. I've been working on some like kawaii future bass kind of stuff. I really like it. I like the genre of future bass. Like I really, but 
uh, I guess the difficulties I've been having is uh, I've noticed that producers will often uh, stack their saws. They, like these hyper saws, which are just like, you no know, saws with multiple oscillators that just right. And uh, they'll stack them. And I guess what gets me about it is um, I don't know how they're meshing these well. I think they're probably just changing their their um, their detune a little bit, and then they might be messing with octaves and maybe fine tuning. And they just stack in a wonderful way that makes those really heavy hitting like uh, seventh, ninth, eleventh, thirteenth chords that you generally hear uh, in future music. I'm just trying to figure out how that works because sometimes it doesn't uh, it doesn't translate well. Just like listening to the music, you need a little bit of extra tutorial and direction. Oh yeah, they're good. They're good music types. Ooh, I don't know if I should have brought. That shouldn't. Ooh. Okay. Never. We're, we're. So in the past, we've had a lot of problems with. Of course, it doesn't really do anything to another ground type, but uh, rock type. But it sucks when you get rock blasted and you're dead. This probably isn't going to do much. Uh, I might signal beam just to try. I think I can win this fight. I might as well get the experience. Yeah, we can easily win it. But yeah, there's the there's so much good music out there, everybody like. And I don't even like the idea of self to that alone. But right now, you know, like I've been working with uh, Ableton for like two years total. And uh, I kind of want to own in and uh, get an album out there. And I've got so much dark synth wave on the back burner that I did that I should just make a five track album and shove on uh, uh, Bandcamp and just get it out there so people can listen to it instead of having it sit in the back burner, right? Yeah, Rock Blast, it's just that, that it's just a move that hit chems, but we've had so many Pokemon, like uh, I remember when I was doing my bug lock where I was only using bug Pokemon, doing a Nuzlocke, a Rock Blast was devastating. It was just five critical hits sometimes in a row. Um, no, I, I, I can't remember what this Pokemon is. I don't know if we're going to... Gyarados, yes. Yes, uh, we're going to switch. <laughs> we're going to switch Pokemon. We're going to switch to... Um, eh, who needs it? I guess Epical Man needs it. I like these horns too, like they're so much fun. And like you could always hear like Pokemon music, you know, it, it just has a feel to it, right? And it's not just the nostalgia, right? It's like the horns. It's all that nonsense, like it really likes to use horns. or brass, like even, you know, heavily synthesized brass. A little bit of uh, piano there. And then like they, like the composer really likes cymbals, really likes like big band uh, percussion, I've noticed. It's fun stuff. Come on, Jeffrey. You know what to do. Aw. Oh, I don't hit two times. Uh, clearly didn't do anything. I've never even heard of the mood rapid spin. Eh, we might as well do it again. It works. Ooh, protect. Okay. It's just going to be a wasted turn, right? What songs have I made so far? Um, well, currently, I'm, I'm uh, the producer for a folk album that has two tracks out right now on Bandcamp. The artist is Zach Tenney. That's folk music, of course, which is something I am not used to whatsoever. Um, just doing, like, you know, basic drum work, uh, EQing, 
acoustic guitar and vocals and stuff just like very bare bones with like you know additional pianos sometimes additional guitars and stuff but um so i've done that uh his two singles for his first album are on Bandcamp, and uh i've got like i said i've got such a back burner of songs that are so close to being ready um but i did that thing right where you change like genres you want to work in and you experiment so hard that you don't focus on your project so I definitely have maybe seven dark synth wave songs that just really need to be put out there. Uh, because like, so I started, uh, as you heard, I started doing like hip hop beats, like when I first uh, got into Dawes and stuff. And that was years ago. I was just making hip hop beats for um, a rapper and it didn't go too, too far because like, you know, I was getting used to it. I wasn't used to music production, but I was learning the ropes. And in the recent years since like COVID hit and everything like that, I got back into music production. So I've had like two total years of experience with these DAWs. And I started with like dark synth wave and synth wave music. And I got really, really into it. But then I started to realize that I I wanted to expand, right? Like it was putting myself kind of in a, a corner. And I started working with like, you know, future based stuff and whatnot. And now I'm here with a pile of dark synthwave future bass and stuff sitting on the back burner that I just haven't done anything. I've got tons of rap beats that are just sitting there, just hip hop ready to go. And uh, maybe maybe my problem is uh, I've had a, I, I just, uh, the perfection element, right? I need to get over it. It's that aspect of being like, hey, um, the song's just done when it's done. You can't, you're only gonna be able to make it so good. You're not gonna be able to go beyond that point. So. Actually, yesterday I was really working hardcore on some music because I just wanted to get it out there. So I'm hoping in the coming weeks I'll have a track or two up on Bandcamp, maybe like put some of my, the things that I'm not really gonna release as like singles or as an album, I'll start dropping on SoundCloud. But I have such a backlog that um, sometimes it's hard to go back to that music too, right? It's just hard to, um, listen to songs that you were making before and to rework them, but I would suggest you should never delete your stuff. Like, just hold on to those um, pieces of music, the things you were working on, because you might use parts of it later, or you might be able to do this wonderful thing. Remember, I was working on uh, my client's, my friend's second uh, single, and it was just starting to sound really muddy to me. And I realized that the thing I needed to do was step back, turn all the volume levels down, right? And just build it all from the ground up again, right? Just sit there and listen to the mix. Cause the mix is, mix downs is what I have a hard time with, right? Mix downs and mastering. I'm kind of just like creative, put all the pieces together and be like, oh shit, I guess I gotta work on all figuring out all the muddy stuff and the extra details and whatnot. But, um, I just turned all the levels down and just built it from, you know, the kick up and it sounded so much better just dropping it all and uh, putting it back together. But um, you've made music for eight years now and you've had a lot of breaks, but I don't want to stop it. I think uh, it's uh, the right time now to grow as a true musician. Do it. Definitely. 100%. I encourage you. Like you feel it's your time. Take that time. Do it. I'm sure, like, I'd love to hear what you've got going. Uh, I don't know if you got music. I mean, if you've been doing stuff for eight years, I'm sure you got something, right? Um, I'd love to hear it. Is that Moon? It is, sorry. You okay? Yeah. We were just talking about music. I was talking with uh, Garanoxa. Oh, nice. About music. Oh, I am back. <clears throat> Get some water and some coffee. Nice. Okay. Um, I am ready to uh, jump into the safari game. Did you take on the breeder? How did it go? Yeah. Uh, it was actually fairly simple. I, I actually yeah, got to use Jeffrey that, a few times to they weren't that crazy, knock right? out some Pokemon, get some experience. Um, I'm always down I'm for heading to the a team safari of zone six. right now. Like, uh, specifically, I'm always down to face a team of six like or a double battle like that, as long as the Pokemon aren't like, you know, severely overpowered. Oh yeah, but you level never 25 know. versus like 30. And you never know with a randomizer. Not too though. bad, That's right? the only thing. We, we just got lucky. Yes. Like the area dose with the uh, overheat. Yeah. Just exploding. Okay, first Pokemon. <clears throat> oh, 
I like the music. It's unique. Oh, is the music good? Yeah, it's just it's just uh it's not just like a rehash of the other Safari Zone. It's just like all percussion. Oh, I was just mentioning how this composer just loves big band percussion. Oh, totally. And and just horns. Yeah, <laughs> like, Junichi Masuda. Just brass sections. So Junichi Masuda did all the soundtrack work for all the Pokemon games and is now the current like director of the Pokemon company. They worked their way up. I mean, Ooh. isn't that odd though? Like you're the music person and. Well, I think um, right. you understand the game, the game's atmosphere a lot more than like a programmer would or the artist. The artist might like understand it or the writers might understand it, but I feel like as a musician, because you're trying to like inform the player's experience through sound design, mm -hmm. through all that stuff that like you play a more pivotal role in uh, the development of the game. So you probably like, like think about all the intricacies and in all the soundtracks of like the, especially like gold, silver and crystal. There's just really, really good pieces of music. Oh, yeah. Clearly, they are really enjoying themselves and, like, immersed in the universe of Pokemon. I forgot how to make this work. I have a C Leo here, so. That's oh, my, yeah. There we my go. Opportunity to catch that. What'd I you think. get? <clears throat> a C Leo. Oh, okay. I, I had a Wall Rain once. <laughs> I had a Wall Rain once. What was it named? Waldo? Uh, shit, no. what was it named? I don't know, see Leo fled. So, does that mean... Does that mean that we, in, like, the encounter doesn't count? How do you wanna, how do you wanna play that out? Uh, that's what I, that's the problem with the Safari Zone, right? Is oh, that... that's what you were talking about before, um, yeah. Is it's not really, like, the, the RNG can just completely destroy you, right? Like... Should we call it a forfeit, just... or do you want to keep going until we catch one? How do you want? I kind of want to keep going until we catch one. Okay. But that's just because like this is totally different than how regular catching works. Like yeah. I feel like uh, I don't know how you feel, chat, but I feel like some special rules should be put in place for the safari zone. Yeah. Just because, like. I'm into that. It should be the first, or or maybe it's like we can make it where if we don't catch one on our first go. Like our first uh, oh, trip yeah, there. Totally. Yeah, because you only have 500 so, steps, so that's a good idea. That's a good way to get yeah. still limited. Well, I'm really glad that I uh, I ran around trying to search <laughs> items first. Nice. <laughs> uh, so I found the Celio, and then now there's Cast Form. Cast Form level 27, so maybe we can catch this one. All right, cast I've got form. a Murkrow. Um, I don't have any... Uh, it's just gonna be balls. Yeah, that's all you can do. You can't use. Uh, you don't have any uh, poke blocks. Oh, so that's gonna make way worse, right? Mm -hmm. So we might run out of balls or run out of time. We'll see. Yeah, we might as well give it a go, right? Cat's form is watching character. Yeah. What are you watching for? I'm throwing balls at you, man. Oh, I don't even know if without the. Uh... I don't even know if you if you don't have the poke blocks if you can even catch anything. He keeps busting out of everything. <laughs> All right, folks, time for me to throw 20 balls at one thing. Cut it. Oh, I got Murkrow. Never mind. Thanks. Balls. Cast form data. Wow. Their Pokemon. I'm going to use Murkrow. At some point, we have to. But for now, I'm. Not. Uh, we probably will just box it for now, right? Yeah, and I guess this, uh, this will be Ono. Oh, no. Because you lost your own. Uh, I guess so, because my other one died, yeah. This is oh no. Thanks, thanks for the GG's, because uh, I didn't think that was gonna work. <clears throat> this is gonna be oh no no. Yeah, perfect. It's placed in hell, but I gotta, we gotta go fix that. Yeah, we gotta take it out of hell. <laughs> um, and I guess you just can. Yeah, we can look to fake this. Yeah, there's probably items in here. Okay. There's. Uh... Yeah, let's just keep looking. Unless there's a, anybody tells us anything. I think there's... Yeah, so far none of the rocks have shown any items. That's the problem. Hmm. I'm on my bike. Just checking stuff out. I'm just looking to see if there's any secret items or anything. Nope. Oh, wild primate. 
<clears throat> oh, shit. It's over. It's up. Yeah, I don't know if there's any items in there. So you have Murkrow, and that's linked to my cast form. That's a, that's a weird soul link there. Yeah, it is, that's probably the oddest you've had. A cloud and a bird. All right, let's move you to the fresh meat box. Bam. Actually, let's, I'm, I'm gonna just that. put you here. There we go. I'm just getting a lot of slowdown. Hey, also. we have a backup now. On the stream? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Doesn't really make a lot of sense. I have, I have a bike and I keep forgetting I have a bike, everybody. What's going on here? There we go. See? That's very strange. <clears throat> I need to just switch my front Pokemon here. What would be causing that? Um, are you having like a frame dropping or? Uh, it's not saying any frame dropping at all, but it's giving me that same stupid bitrate encoding thing again. Oh, hmm. I don't so know why that's not. happening. Oh, uh, Twitch is just being a bitch today. Just refresh the entire stream manager here. And let me know in the chat. I won't be able okay. to see your message uh, for a little bit, but let me know in the chat if we're slide showing. <clears throat> yeah. It's is very, the uh, is the stream a TED talk? <laughs> Basically. Oh. No, I don't think there's any items around here at all. Oh, it is. It's going strong, Numa. We actually have six Pokemon again. Welcome to the stream, Nima. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we've got... Uh, yes, hopefully, hopefully all things are going good. Got a full team. <clears throat> That's nice. The newest addition to the team is Mew on my end, named Bezos, and Jeffrey the Marowak. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it worked well. <laughs> well, yeah, we have, a, we have a weird pairing. I've got Jeffrey, yeah, as, uh, as Moon said. Jeffrey the Marowak and Bezos the Mew coming back from space. Yeah, Numa says you got a slideshow going on, but I yeah. think you're resetting, right? <laughs> well, I'm just refreshing something. There's nothing I can reset. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know see. what's, uh, what's uh, going on or why it's happening. Give. Murkrow now. Uh, Let's see what we can change. Maybe we'll just give, yeah, we'll just give the shell bell to Pigman Carl and we'll heal. Uh, when was the last PC re reboot? I noticed stream quality drops. I haven't done it in a while. <clears throat> it was earlier today. Interesting. Okay, let's try. <clears throat> Let's try this, maybe it makes a difference. Who knows? Yep, it's like fix it itself. Ooh, okay, oh, yeah, cast, you have, cast form, know that's... mist water is what's holding. Interesting. And pointless oh, I mean, that's fair, right? Welcome in, Lux. How you doing? <clears throat> uh, um, I th think... Do we gotta like go talk to the uh, team Aqua people? I I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we have to go talk to the guy that, by the Whalmers. Oh, the cave in the cove. Which, okay, yeah. that's where we gotta go. Damn, uh, my emulator's just freezing Let's now. Let's talk to these guys. This has nothing to do with Twitch now. This is just the emulator. <clears throat> oh, really? Yeah. There we go. I'm just I'm just making sure that uh, Oh no Oh no isn't in hell. Because we actually have one backup Pokemon now. Cast Form yeah, we do. and Murkrow. It's wild. Not anymore. Ooh, I want to get that. I want to go grab that. It was wild, but not anymore. What's that? <laughs> it was wild, oh, but I... just not anymore. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see what you did there. I, I, I got anxiety instantly, and I was just <laughs> like, did we lose a Pokemon? That's and so what funny. just happened? <laughs> Uh, Mount Pyre. No, we gotta go talk to. What's his face? Apparently, your 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 
your uh, cam is frozen up as well. Mm -hmm. Well, that's usually what happens with the slideshow. The oh, thing, okay. The whole thing gets frozen. Um, but it looks like it's uh, good now, um, from what I can see. It's good now? It's showing sweet, me that it's sweet. good now. My cam might be lagging a little doing bit, all right. I just have to refresh that. I think uh, me and Moon are doing all right besides, like, you know, the technical thing, but... Mm -hmm. Totally. Doing fine. Um, should be a little better. He just went to the Safari Zone, got um, our encounter there. We ruled it where at the Safari Zone you have to be able to get a Pokemon in your first time going there. If you don't, you can't go back. So just because it works differently than a... So and uh, your Pokemon can weaken them and everything. It's just totally different. So, yeah, you're good. Yeah, I, th I think we're good. <clears throat> Should be fine in just a second. It's fixing itself. It says I have an excellent bit rate and no issues. <laughs> Why? I'm flattered. An excellent bit rate. I'm flattered. Thank you. Thank you. For, <laughs> thank you for complimenting my bit rate. Uh, do we have to go around on these whalemers or do we have to go through them? I can't remember what I think we gotta you just, do you here. have to talk to the guy on the on the shore, like the T Mock on the He member. he just tells me to fuck off. That's what that's all he tells me to oh. do. Oh, okay. Then we have to maybe um, we don't have to go that way. We have to go back and go south, like to Mount Pyre. Oh, to the mount? Yeah, let's just do I that so. then. I'm pretty sure. Oh, nope, now uh, it's